It's time to wake up with a nice cup of morning roast. Featuring the Fillmore's finest, Monte Hill. <laughs> the pride of the Excelsior, Joe Butcher Boy Shasky. You're listening to 95 Tevin the Game, the morning roast. Four man rush. Purdy loaded up, going deep. He's got a man. Well, so much for playing for a field goal. They went double move on the outside with Brandon Ayuk. Brock Purdy gave a huge pump fake, and Ayuk just ran right by him. Oh, baby. Or should I say... Holy crap, what the hell happened yesterday at Levi Stadium? What happened at Levi Stadium? Well, I'll tell you what happened. Shaska and I tell you what happened all morning. The Niners beat the Buccaneers 35 to 7. They punked the GOAT, or the greatest quarterback of all time, supposedly. I'll still take Joe Montana. Uh, but Tom Brady looked befuddled out there. He was rattled. Down goes Brady. Down goes Brady. The defense played at a high level, high, high level. Chris McCaffrey, again, was special. Oh, he's it's not so going to get any headlines, but McCaffrey was special. He should. He's been incredible. Incredible. But Brock Purdy. Unbelievable, B. Brock Purdy. As I say, good morning to everybody out there on the roadways. Drive safely. I heard Spinotti saying it. Drive safely. It's wet out there. It's cold. Don't rush. Drive safely. Everybody getting off their graveyard shifts. Drive safely. Good morning. Janitors, plumbers, electricians, strippers, teachers, students, cops, firefighters, rappers. rappers. Rappers are still asleep. They, there's no way they're waking up. No, no, no. They might be up from the night before. Yeah, they may still be up. Maybe. Yeah, All they rise. haven't got to sleep yet. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> All rise. Oh, I hate you. I hate yeah, you. Yeah, by the way, the giant size shot would die. We're not doing that. I'm not doing that wait, today. Wait, wait, wait to sneak that in. I'm too happy. In the middle of the night, Giants. <laughs> First off, Saturday night was one of my favorite times of the year. A Saturday night special, if you will, Leonard Skinner. Celtics Warriors, just a fun, fun game. I love Saturday night games in the NBA. And then yesterday's <laughs> game against the GOAT, B, walking into that stadium or driving into the parking lot and then walking into the stadium. Yeah, because it takes you about 20 minutes to park. I was blown away. First off, I want to give shout out to Sarah High School. They represented so hard at that stadium yesterday. The amount of Sarah alumni, I could I was blown well, away. Well, first, blown if we're away. gonna start there, it was a tough go for our North yeah. Cal High School football teams I mean, down in Saddleback. Sarah loses to St. John yeah. Bosco, basically a college team. De La Salle barely loses to Lincoln High School. They had a running back going to Georgia. De La Salle, ah, they lose. San Ramon Valley loses its overtime. I watched that game. They lose to uh Granite Hills. That was yeah. a hell of a football game. Pitt gets blown out by Liberty in Bakersfield. Shout out to Pitt, who had a great season. And, of course, McClymans loses to Matter Day Catholic. So a rough goal for our North Cal teams, but shout out to all those North Cal teams for representing us the right way. Lincoln did win a state championship. Sam Moran, Sam Moran did win a state championship. Mm-hmm. So shout out to all the North Cal teams who represented well. Well, and then seeing all the Brady jerseys. Walking into the stadium, I was like, damn, I underestimated how many Brady jerseys there, there were. a lot. And then it wasn't just Patriot ones. I couldn't believe how many Bucks Brady jerseys. Oh. And they kind of blended in the crowd because of the red jersey. And no. I was like, was it just me, B? I was, I was like blown away how many yeah. Brady fans there were. Well, and shout out to CSM as well. Winner State Championship, 50, 55 nothing over Riverside College. Omari Green, Jason Hardy, K. Booth. What, a, what is happening? But what I had a problem with with the Brady stuff. What's that? Is I got split cap syndrome. Well, that's my buddy who did that. I saw that. Uh, JJ. Did that. Yeah. I didn't like it. No, I saw a lot what? of people like but that. No, 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 no. That's his guy. But so what? I don't like seeing a Brady jersey with the Niner beanies. He each their own. Like that, that, that that's but you gotta understand. It's like a, it's like somebody going to a Warriors game saying, Hey, I'm a Warriors fan, but I'm also a LeBron fan. So I'm gonna wear a LeBron jersey well, with the Warriors time hat. Out, time out. I don't LeBron like didn't that. go to your high school. If you went to your high school and he did Brady has donated more to Sarah High School than any player, more than Bonds, okay, more than anyone. You. So there's a I don't there's see anybody something wearing Swan jerseys. Yeah, Lynn Swan has to live in Pittsburgh Pat forever. Jerseys. You know? We don't, that's not... Uh, Greg Jeffries, line two. I, I, I'm not a fan of that. But well, anyway, to look, each their own. Look, again, yeah, to each their own. I'm not mad at those people. And also, let's be real, B. This might be the last time you see him in person. Right? He's only played twice Unless he now. Unless to the Niners next year. We'll, right. we'll get to that down the, down the line. But, look, my, my point is I, I enjoyed it thoroughly uh, walking in and seeing all the Brady fans. I thought it was absolutely unbelievable. It felt big time. 
early on. The crowd felt into it. You didn't know if the skies were going to open up and just start pouring. And the first play of the game, Purdy takes a shot like in Madden, like in one of those NFL hits yep. videos from the 80s. And my heart stopped. And I said, oh, my God. And he jumped right up. And I said, okay. Well, okay. I, I didn't. I didn't think he was going to stay down. I knew he'd jump right up. But I was I'm not going to lie. In today's game, they're going to call that a flag. I didn't think it was a penalty. I didn't think it was a penalty you didn't either. either. Yeah, I, I, I thought I, it was a great tone setter by Tampa Bay. 100%. Come out the blitz. Purdy doesn't see it. Boom. He gets smacked. But then all of a sudden, he gets up. And it's all on popping. He hit Kittle on that on that one play over the middle where he kind of like the, down. Ol- the only throw was slightly behind Kittle because that's where the window was. And then Kittle comes in and gets it down. And it felt like he just settled in right there in there because he missed Debo in the flat. And I'm thinking, uh-oh, he looks rattled. And you didn't know where he was throwing to. I jumped the gun on that. He he looked really good. He looked no, he great looked yesterday. Good. He looked good. Look, it's, if it's helmet to helmet, fine. I, I'm not going to. I'm just trying to be how I saw it. I thought it was a clean football head. Was it helmet to helmet? It well, looks so good. He got his shoulder. helmet on it. And then on the broadcast, he said, well, he lowered his helmet. You know what? It's fine. If they're going to call that, they're going to call uh, that. To but me, as that's a, a as tackle. In, as just a neutral yeah. fan. Yeah. As a, a neutral, I'm taking my Niner yeah. jersey off. Imagine me taking my Niner jersey off. Okay, As T-O. a neutral fan, I thought it was a clean football head. I like hits like that. We need more hits like that. But you know what? They called it. They called it. It is what it is. Let's see, you know. They go down the field. McCaffrey has a big run. Mm-hmm. Debo has, the, of course, the touchdown mm-hmm. run. Mm-hmm. Purdy hits Kittle out on the out route. And then all of a sudden, the second quarter, the avalanche happened. <laughs> the avalanche happened. And the pass to Christian McCaffrey, that entire, I mean, just. No, that whole the, drive. The, that whole he drive. stepped up three he times. He stepped up three times. The ball, what I love is the ball skills in the pocket. He manipulates defenders, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. whether it's faking yeah, with yeah, the yeah. ball. Shoulder fakes, head fakes. The step up. The step up in the pocket. And then he's got the different arm slots right. to throw it away. The one he threw to Debo, and everyone's like, oh, my God. Like, everyone held their breath. That's a hell of a play. It's he, a hell of a play. He steps up and, and doesn't get sacked yep. on that one. Then throws a touch pass over right. the linebacker underneath the corner to Debo. I I, I don't know what to say. Like, I, to me, you we could say it's only one game. Yeah, it's only one game. And it was an incredible start. It was, it was, it was an incredible start. The Ray Ray McLeod play. Uh, stepping up there, hitting Ray Ray McLeod in the window. It didn't outside the numbers deep. If there's one knock on Jimmy, and I'm not here to knock Jimmy Garoppolo. And today's about Brock, Jim, not Bro- about Jimmy. Today's about Brock. But but Jimmy, one thing he struggles with is throwing deep down the sidelines. He's throwing yeah. down the field Agreed. on the sidelines yeah. outside the numbers. And I thought something I thought Brock would struggle with that. Well he didn't yesterday. Hitting Chris McCaffrey right there at the pylon. Beautiful throw against the blitz. And one thing I'm he noticing about the guy. You know, yeah, no doubt. One thing I'm noticing about Brock is against the blitz, he stands in there and he delivers dimes. He got cracked. Teams are gonna look at the Scott report. They're gonna watch the film and say, you know what? It's probably best we don't blitz this guy. Because against the blitz, again, we saw it against Miami. Yeah, yeah. We saw it against Tampa yesterday. Against the blitz, Brock will kill you. Be the identification and the processing of what the defense is trying to do. He is so fast at seeing where to go with the ball, at seeing where the misstep is. On that CMC play, the cornerback, like in Madden, when you're in strafe mode, you know, you're like squared up to the line. As CMC's running by him, and he's like, oh, I'll take that. And maybe he doesn't have the greatest arm strength, but it reminds me uh, of, of uh, like, uh, pick another sport, of a guy who maybe isn't the greatest athlete, right. but he's so smart and he's so crafty, he knows how to get his shot off. Or a left fielder, like Barry Bonds, who mm-hmm. doesn't have the greatest arm, but a quick release. Mm-hmm. The way Brock processes it, he makes up for the lack of arm yeah, strength. No doubt. Like the Ayuk he, he, play, okay, right. he kind of underthrew him. Right. It's a touchdown. All but I yeah, know is they scored 35 points. Yeah, and I don't I don't want to do that. We did that no, so much stupid. as a fan base with Jimmy Garoppolo. Well, he threw it behind him. Well, he threw it underneath him. You know, I remember the Ross Dooley play in L.A. where he hits him le- le- uh, down the sideline, down the left sideline. It's a big play. They beat him 31-14. to 14. They're, Well, he kind of underthrew Dooley. We're not doing that. He connected to the receiver. The receiver caught the ball, and you got a big chunk play. <laughs> Yesterday with Ayuk, they used the shoulder fake. Yes. The double yes. pump. Yes. And Bre- by the way, Brendan Ayuk with a great route, the stuttering go, the th- the – Logan Ryan got cooked on that play, and he hit Brendan Ayuk. Look, he had to wait on it a little bit. He got it there. Touchdown uh, right before the half. You go up 28-0. That was huge. Two, two straight weeks. Party has looked like a master in a two-minute drill. B, let me give you his third down numbers. I couldn't believe this. Third down the last yep. two games. Not one game, two games. 15 of 17. That's an 88% yep. percentage, completion percentage. 127 yards. Two touchdowns. 
zero interceptions, nine first downs. He's converting 52% of his third downs. You want to talk about money downs? Those are them. How about in the red zone, B? Yeah, the red zone. The two-yard touchdown was beautiful. I mean, how about him Boys. scrambling for a touchdown? Boys. I mean, I, I hate to say it, I'm just going to throw my hands up in the air. Why not the 49ers? Why not Brock Purdy? Like, I know it's week to week. I get all that. I'm looking at Kyle Shanahan, B, too. Everything that's gone wrong this yeah. year. Think about it. They've lost running backs. They've lost yep. tackles. They've lost both quarterbacks. They've lost a cornerback. No, I don't know if this is his best coaching job. You can say 2019. I'll listen. Well, I think he should be in the running for coach of the year. B, they got but, nine wins. You know, They've guaranteed themselves a winning season. You know if they win on Thursday, they win the West. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah, Thursday's He's been a, incredible. Thursday's a hat and t-shirt game for the 49ers. Seattle loses to Carolina. You go up to Seattle on Thursday. It's a hat and t-shirt game. All of a sudden, you're celebrating the NFC West with three games to go. Three games to go. That's where we're at here. So, Brock Purdy, it was his moment. It was his time. You see his parents in the game, at the game, that was crying. Really cool. That was a really cool moment cool, for him. Man. To hug his dad after the game, to hug his mom. You see his family members right there. His dad's crying after the first touchdown. When he threw it in, and, and the one thing, too, you know me, I love swagger. This kid's got some swagger. And when he jumped He'll in the air after it. the he touchdown in, run? He jumps in the air. He's high. He's fist pumping yeah. in the air. He's got the double double guns pointing. The team's I responding mean, to him, too, and, B. And, and Greg Olson, so I watched it back last night, and yeah. I had to. And Greg Olson says something. He goes, the reaction from the sideline on some of these throws is unreal. So the drive where they go up 21 nothing, the first drive, and, and Shanahan's dialing up first down passes, hey. which I like, play action passes. And First down passes. I love that. And he had some beautiful plays where you had wide receivers coming across the formation in pre-snap. Yep. He had some really beautiful play designs. No, he did. Shanahan was in his back yesterday. He's doing a hell of a job. He, he should be in the running for Culture of the Year. But guys are going to look at Dan Campbell. They're going to look at Ron Rivera. I get it. They're going to look, look, look at they've overcome. They're going to look at, gonna look at Sir, Sirianni, whatever. But you, you see, you see Brock. You see Brock on that drive where it's, where he goes twenty one nothing. I st I still thought there was a lot of game left. And then we'll get to that in a second. Bonte, but that I, first down throw even up Debo 28 Samuel, nothing. I thought Brady nah, might I, have a chance. I thought it was over. 28 nothing. I was like, this one's over. <laughs> I just, They're I not just, coming Brady. back against this defense. No, 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 no. Not with that offensive line. Not against this defense. Not against Bosa. Not against Dre Greenlaw, who had 15 tackles Dude. yesterday. How about Forget Pro Bowl. He may be a damn all pro. He may be an all pro. And then him batting the ball to himself on the interception. He's athletic. He's a freak. Can, can, uh, before you continue on, the, on this drive, because I know you want to get there, at some point... How many times did Brady throw an intentional grounding that didn't get called? He was crying to the officials yeah, was, the whole game. He threw the ball 55 times yesterday, and it was like, damn. And it was a lot of check downs, throwing late over the middle. You know, he hit his hand. Uh, Ebukam hit him one time, and his helmet hit Brady's yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah. He was hurting, and mm -hmm. in the next play, he threw a pick. But even later on in the game, and this is what happened to Tua, when you get a pass rush, yeah, yeah, and they're coming up the middle, they're coming on the edge, you can't set your feet. Yeah. Your feet becomes happy. All of a sudden, your footwork becomes a mess. And we saw it with Tua Tungavailoa yeah. last week. And we saw it this week with Brady. Where all of a sudden, throws that you usually make in your sleep, mm. like the fourth down throw to Mike Evans mm. where he underthrows he skipped it. skipped it. Scotty Miller down the sideline where he I had his he man had beat. He underthrew it. I Why? Know. Because the rush is getting to him. So even the best quarterbacks, even the best quarterbacks in the league, boy, they struggle against pass rushes. And that and this pass rush right now with the did, 49ers is unbelievable. Did you notice they moved uh, Bosa inside mm -hmm. uh, toward the end of that game? And yep. I just felt like he was just game wrecking it. And I, he could have had like four sacks in that game. No doubt. God, what a great game. Get to that drive, though, because well, that drive was impressive. Because well, 21 what, nothing, I, B, I still felt like this is a game. Well, well 21 nothing, right? So Purdy does a sneak. He hits McCaffrey. I don't even know why it was reviewed. They obviously, he bobbled it a little bit. That was but the got weirdest review. It was the weirdest review. And then the review. chance, but Purdy, the chance with Purdy. I got goosebumps Purdy. with that. I got goosebumps, and I was stunned. I was stunned. My jaw was dropped. Everybody in our section was like, is this really happening? Yes. And, and Edna went to the bathroom. She came back, and she was like, yo, this, this kid was just telling his dad, I need a Purdy jersey. I need a Purdy jersey. It's so unbelievable. We'll get the Berlant to Purdy at an appropriate time. Today's not the day. But I thought that next drive was the key to the game, where they stuffed Tampa Bay down in the red mm -hmm, zone. Mm -hmm. Tampa Bay scores. It's 21-7. All of a sudden, the pressure's back on the yep. 49ers to go through a drive and try to uh, try to make something happen. There's no Depot Samuel. No. And I'm thinking, okay, 21-7. Tampa Bay gets a stop. I know. They get the ball to open the second half. You got a whole new ball game. There's a lot more pressure on Purdy in the offense. That defense stood up time and time yeah. again. They Jimmy bent, Ward. Bent, bent. They, they tried to attack Jimmy Ward yeah. all day long. 
did not work. No, they tried he to tag, great. They tried to attack Drake Greelaw. It did not work. They tried to attack Diamador Lenore. It did not work. So to get that stop inside the red yeah. zone, I thought was huge. And then to go right back down the field and well, score, go up 28 nothing. I thought game was over. Was it the right before the Ayuk touchdown pass where he threw the interception? Okay, so on that play, the DN made a hell of a play on that one, right? And you could say they got bailed out, and I'll listen to that. Like, okay, but this is what I'll give Brock, and this is, I think, my biggest point when I'm watching him. His ability to overcome the mistake yep. by the other team and then gash them with a big play, mm -hmm. it's incredible. It's really incredible. B, like, that's one of those ones, like, most guys, they get a little gun shy after they throw an interception. They kind of get into their shell. Yep. They get a little worried. Because once they hit the IU touchdown, didn't it feel like, oh, my God, this is yep. real. You like, know, this is, I, I don't even know what to say. The interception was huge, and I get Tampa Bay's gripe. Well, Mike Evans was, like, coming onto the field ready to kill an official. Dude, well, you watch it back, and it was like, oh, they It was back. a ticky-tacky call, oh, right? Was, Am was, I tripping? It was a bad call. Yeah. It was a bad call. Tampa Bay got job there. Yeah. I'm not going to complain. That was a hell of a play by the DN. It was a hell of a play by DN. He DN. faked it. It was a Jimmy pick. It was pick. a hell of a play by yeah. DN. They called defense a holding. I was like, oh, my gosh. We got bailed. Yeah, they got bailed out. They did. And next play, boom, touchdown. It was the very next play. I think it was the very next wow, play. Wow, that's incredible. And then McCaffrey. Some of the runs from McCaffrey, I was telling Spadoni uh, in the pregame show. Yeah, it was the very next play. Oh, there you go. Going interception. Yeah. Next play, that 32 incredible. yards, stutter and go. Hit some and but, Shanahan, give Shanahan credit for, for trusting yes. Brock Purdy to throw it down the field. I was gonna say though, B, it felt like and we're gonna get lost in the sauce and we're gonna because Brock was awesome. Their blocking on the outside was spectacular last yesterday. And I thought McCaffrey was picking the holes perfectly and his familiarity in the outside zone. He's getting Get better. better and yep. better and better. Yep. And he toe tapped and wiggled through and then boom, burst for another eight, nine, ten yards. What a trade. What a trade. You called this what a, what a, You called this two months ago. It trade. has changed the Niners offense. I mean, getting a home run hitter in the backfield. You got a great defense. <laughs> right? Purdy's pocket pressures blew me away. Now, again, I'm going to take it week by week. But you got a vulnerable Seattle team on Thursday. B. Not going to be an easy game. But, man, without Debo Samuel, we'll get the Debo Samuel. Reports are he may be out three to six weeks. You hope to get him back by the playoffs. Thankfully, it's not that anything was so worse. Crushing. Oh, so because he got up, yes, and he got back down, and it was like, oh, you got to bring the cart well, out. And then when the cart comes out, all the players are dapping him. When I see players dapping him at a game, yeah. I'm like, that's not good. That's not good. And so my heart sank because this guy's a gladiator. He is. Debo's a good player, man. He's a really, really good player. But and and we'll get to Jerry Rice's comments. Jerry Rice didn't like to run up the middle in the second quarter. Look, man, you got to do what you got to do it for Shanahan. You got to get playmakers the ball. Guys get hurt. Guys get hurt. I saw some people complaining. It's 28 no, nothing. Don't give Christian no. McCaffrey the ball. What are you going to do? Bubble wrap everybody? You only dress 53 dudes. But if you want, okay, just for a second. If you love the Debo touchdown on the very first drive, like, that's from the running back position, right. essentially. Right. Like, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, that's the way. How is that different from their screen passes yep. that they throw to Debo where he's getting yep. plastered? Okay? Yep. Like, that's the way that guy plays. Yep. And it's unfortunate. He got twisted and bent around. We're lucky it's not worse. B, I thought it was ankle, knee, and the other ankle. Yeah, Both ankles got crushed. I, I didn't know what happened there on that play, but he got smacked. <laughs> uh, he left the game in the second quarter, but the Niners went 35-7. to seven. He was wearing sick, sick Jordans. The black ones with well, the red. He, you know what he did, too? It's the Christmas season. It's the holiday season. Uh -huh. He gifted a bunch of kids with some Cherry 11 Red Jordans. No, he did. I didn't know Looked that. Looked them all up, dude. Really? It was pretty cool, man. You had, Curry, you had Curry's Christmas yesterday. Really? Uh, but Debo hooked up these kids with some Jordans. That was a pretty cool moment. That's pretty cool. That was cool. And they were at the game yesterday. That's pretty you saw cool. Them before the game with the fresh, fresh Jays on, yeah, on the field. Yeah, so yeah. That's pretty, pretty cool. cool man. That's pretty cool. So Debo will By get, the, way, the saxophone. Go we, we're going to forget. The saxophone to start the game where he held it for the for the plane oh, yeah, to fly yeah, yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty sick. B, I got goosebumps. That, that was, was pretty pretty badass. Sick. It was a big game, though. It was packed yesterday. It was packed. People wanted to see Brady. When he threw that touchdown pass to Mike Evans and he got called back. I got silent. Well, the Brady fans were loud. <laughs> oh my they God. were loud. And they sat right back down, and they were pretty quiet the rest of the game. So, anyway, 888-957-9570. Your thoughts on yesterday. Is Brock pretty legit? Is this for real? Is this guy, does he have it? Feels like it. Does he have it? Brock Purdy Mania here on the Morning Rose. 888-957-9570. Brought to you by Go to State Lumber. Serving the Bay Area for three generations. When you succeed, we succeed. Visit GoToStateLumber.com. What's coming up on the game is sponsored by Pfizer. Your phone calls coming up here on the Rose. Niners beat the Bucks. Smash them 35-7. to 
They're a game away from clinching the NFC West. We're going to talk about it here on The Roast. When temperatures drop, COVID-19 cases may rise. So if you test positive and are at high risk, act fast. Even if your symptoms feel mild, ask your provider if an authorized oral treatment could be right for you. Visit TreatCOVID19.com. Sponsored by Pfizer. Kirby! They're your driveway mechanic, and they bring the shop to you. And our friends over at Kirby just won the Motor Top 20 Award for innovation, brakes and tire replacements, oil changes, and so much more. And they've just added Kirby's eco-friendly wash. It barely uses any water and makes your car look brand new. They use all biodegradable products that provide the ultimate shine and protection to both the exterior and interior of your car, all in the ease of your driveway. The ultimate convenience, easy booking, transparent pricing, on-time arrival, service in your driveway. No waiting rooms, no coordinating rides, direct access to your mechanic, friendly and reliable service, no middleman, and no upsells. Get $50 off your first oil change with the code OIL50. That's OIL50. Or use my code Joe Wash, J O E W A S H, to get a free sealant treatment with the purchase of Kirby's eco friendly wash. Check out Kirby.com. That's C U R B E E.com. Life doesn't stop when the economy is uncertain. The market might not care you have a wedding to plan or a kid to put through school. And inflation doesn't know you've got a family to feed. But Bank of America does and is here to help. With digital tools to help you save and local experts in the Bay Area, you can keep life moving forward the way you need it to. Bank of America, what would you like the power to do? Learn more at bofa.com slash San Francisco. Bank of America NA, member FDIC, equal credit opportunity lender. Get fast, reliable speeds at home and on the go with internet and mobile from Xfinity. Now through December 21st, new customers can get 1.2 gig internet plus XFi complete with unlimited data and Wi-Fi equipment included. It's just $50 a month for two full years with no annual contract when you add Xfinity Mobile with unlimited data at regular rates. Plus, get $200 back. Go online, call 1-800-XFINITY or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Actual speeds vary. Goody Nation is a nonprofit that connects small, diverse companies to big money. At one point, we had to send millions of dollars to 76 companies overnight, tracking every penny all on paper. I know, right? We don't do that anymore. Now we've got Bill. It knows where the money's going. Once we automated that process, we got more time back with our community. Bill is accurate, and that gives us confidence. Automate your finances with Bill. Learn more at Bill.com. Television sales on Black Friday set new records as millions of Americans snapped up the hot deals. But a lot of people were out of town or too busy to take advantage of the special pricing. So, how about a redo? Right now, you've got a second chance to save big on many of the top-rated Samsung, LG, and Sony TVs. Where? At Video Only, where the smart shoppers go. So, don't miss out. Check out Video Only now, or... You'll be sorry... Looking for a holiday dining experience to remember? Look no further. Avicii San Francisco's newest culinary dining adventure is now open at 680 Folsom Street in San Francisco. Visit our website at AvicciiSF.com to book your reservation today. That's A-F-I-C-I-S-F.com. If you own a business, this has been a bumpy ride. From pandemic to inflation, I'm sure you could use a break. If your business has five or more employees and survived COVID, you might be eligible to receive a payroll tax refund of up to $26,000 per employee. The challenge is getting your hands on it. Hi, I'm Howard Mackler, and that's why I founded GetRefunds.com to cut through the red tape and get you that money. The team of tax attorneys we have put together are highly trained in this little-known payroll tax refund program. We do all the work, charge not a dime up front, and simply share a percentage of the cash that we get for you. Businesses of all types qualify, including those who took PPP, nonprofits, and even those that had increases in sales. We have helped return over a billion dollars to businesses, and we can help your business, too. Just go to GetRefunds.com and answer a few questions. This payroll tax refund is only available for a limited period of time. Don't lose out on up to $26,000 per employee. Go to GetRefunds.com. That's GetRefunds.com. Meet Joe A. Hi. Joe B. Hello. And Joe C. What's up? Three everyday Joes perfecting their banking with Chase. Joe A. is locking his lost debit card with the Chase mobile app. Joe B. is cruising toward his new ride with AutoSafe. And Joe C.'s Chase banker is helping him budget to go back to school. Tools that help protect, support for what's next. One bank that puts you in control. Visit chase.com slash checking. Chase, make more of what's yours. Chase mobile app is available for select mobile devices. Messaging and data rates may apply. JP Morgan Chase Bank, NA member FDIC. 
At Target, make the holidays a breeze with same-day pickup and delivery. Order today and get it today by choosing free drive-up, free order pickup, or same-day delivery when you order on Target.com or through the Target app. This season, get festive faster and holiday the easy way with Target same-day pickup and delivery. Choose free drive-up, free order pickup, or same-day delivery on everything you need for the holidays. Only at Target. When temperatures drop, COVID-19 cases may rise. So if you test positive and are at high risk, act fast, even if your symptoms feel mild. Ask your provider if an authorized oral treatment could be right for you. Visit TreatCOVID19.com. Sponsored by Pfizer. They're chanting Purdy, by the way. Brock Purdy chants in Santa Clara. I feel like I'm in a scene of Rudy. Come on, man. You got Larry Jude in the building. You listen to the morning roast. And we're doing numbers, man. Good job, morning roast. Sock it to me. Hey, 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 hey. Yee! <laughs> This segment is presented by Golden State Lumber, serving the Bay Area, Bay Area blah, 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 for three generations. When you succeed, we succeed. Visit GoldenStateLumber.com. We're talking Niners all day, 888-957-9570. Purdy may be legit. They're chanting Purdy, by the way. Brock Purdy chants in Santa Clara. I feel like I'm in a scene of Rudy. Keep this beat going. <laughs> Purdy, he's your QB, 13, Purdy, Purdy, Purdy. <laughs> How stunned were you to see him uh, jaw dropped? navigate the pocket like that, to run the offense like that? It, okay, he, he makes a couple of scramble plays, and you're like, all right. Well, early on, it did feel like, I'm saying, uh-oh, he, he got hit first hard, and then he missed Debo on like a swing route, right. and I'm saying, if the cornerback jumps that, that could have been real trouble. Mm -hmm. And I started getting real worried. I'm like, uh-oh. Like, this this is this is not good. Right. And then that third down pass to George Kittle, everything settled in after that. There was also a sequence on the second drive where it felt like he was running around. They ended up punting. Right. He was running around. He missed a couple of guys that were open. And I was like, oh, is he gun shy? What's going on here? And he nah, ran that. around. And I think he just kind of settled in after that. And then, be like, at some point, you got to just acknowledge – he processes it super quickly. He gets rid of the ball very accurately for mm -hmm. the most part. Mm -hmm. And he's making plays down the field. Right. What 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 more do you want? I mean, he's throwing the ball down the field on the sidelines, outside the numbers. He's throwing the ball over the middle. He has command of the offense. He was 16 to 21 yesterday, 185 yards, two touchdowns. He had the rushing touchdown in the pocket, which was look, there was nothing there at the goal line. He kept his composure, tucked it ran, made a nice little juke move. Boom, touchdown. You're up 14 nothing. Levi's is blown away. <laughs> Levi's is rocking. It kind of reminded me <laughs> that incredible. scene with the whole purdy, purdy, purdy chant. It reminded me of Christmas Eve when they beat the Jaguars back in 20, 2017. That place was rocking. They were chanting Jimmy at times. Uh -huh. And Jimmy had stolen the crowd. Yeah. He had stolen the thunder. But purdy yesterday, where people were just kind of looking around like, what in the hell is going on here? What is going so, on with number 13? You've been to a lot of Niner games, as yeah. have I. I was telling Joe, like, in my, in my going to games... Jerry, 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 right. Jerry. Right. I remember that chant. I'll never right. forget that. Um, it, we chanted for BY, but there wasn't a chant, right? right? We chanted for him when he was getting hoisted right. up in his final game in right. 2007. Okay. And then obviously Derek, uh, Derek Carr's brother, David Carr, people were chanting for, but that right. was like, it was different. It was like chanting for a replacement right. of Alex Smith. Bosa in the playoff game against Minnesota when he got hurt and he was yep. laying on his back. Yep. And then this Purdy one. I wasn't there for the Jimmy Jack Jacksonville. Yeah, Jacksonville. Chance. It was rocking like that. It felt like something was special, something magical am was I, happening with Jimmy Garoppolo. So am I missing also, any other chance? Also, I, I don't okay. know about any chance, but the feeling I had, feelings like that, were Purdy lighting it up. The feeling against Jacksonville, Christmas Eve. Yeah. yeah. Also, Kaepernick's first start on Monday Night Football against the Bears, that was... where he came in and lit it up, and I was like, uh oh. Well, no, everybody had uh -oh. the same reaction coming out of the stadium. <laughs> 
This feels real. Yeah. This, this feels, feels real. This feels like you can't go back to Alex Smith. That's what I'm saying. And now with Purdy, there's no Jimmy Garoppolo. He's out for the year. Well, they have no other options. And Trey Lance is done. So now it opens up, you know, training camp's going to be wild next year with Purdy but and Trey Lance. But I mean, you know I'm what? not even there yet. But you know what? Let the best man win. Well, and this right is now, what I want. Purdy looks like the they, best man. Well, this is what I wanted last year. I wanted Trey Lance to compete with Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, I believe Trey Lance would have beat out Jimmy Garoppolo yeah. and Trey Camp. Let these guys compete for the job. It is what it is. It is what it is. And then I start thinking about, I'm like, damn, what if the Niners, Giants, and Warriors select number two picks? You get Joey Bart, who's the number two overall mm-hmm. pick. You get James Wiseman, who's the number two overall pick. And Trey Lance, who's the number two overall pick. What if none of them work out? That, which would be insane. That might t- totally be plausible, B. I mean, at this point, right now, from what we've seen in the part, like a start and, and, and almost a whole game, Brock Purdy looks way better than Trey Lance did, at least in his first couple of games. Now, I will say, was the game plan different? Or was but the play calling so different? This would be my counter to you. Clearly, Shanahan really trusts in Brock Purdy. A lot and, more and than Trey Lance. He does. He just does. Like, they're telling you what they think about him. And but, Trey, so, but I'm, 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 I'm still holding out reservations. Yeah, no, I mean, like, but, Jalen but Hurts. Lance, we were talking about Jalen Hurts right, last week. Right. Jalen was not the player you no, see wasn't. today no, uh, two years ago. No, he wasn't. Now, but that being and, said. And is that fair to Trey? Because Trey played in the monsoon in Chicago. He played in one drive against Seattle, and he had to got to have a game against me. Houston, and they won that football game. I still, they won that football game. Be, I think both can be true for for me. For me, both can be true. I am loving what I'm seeing from Brock Purdy right now. He's got the upper hand on Trey, but I'm not ready to sell my Trey Lance stock yet. I still want to see what I have in him, but he's got a long way to go. But what I've seen from Brock Purdy, look, man. They can win the West with their third-string right. quarterback who actually is playing at a level that feels like upper echelon quarterback. I'm not saying he's Mahomes. I'm saying watch the game. Watch how he gets rid of the ball. This is what Russell Wilson did when they were good. He played right. a point guard style of, of, of quarterbacking. Get it out to your playmakers rhythmically and on time. Negate the big losses and make big plays downfield. What more can you ask? Yeah, it was it a was hell of a play. I mean, and now, just, and now you got action. And now you got action. Now you got action. Uh, in the last four games, you have it's a hat and t shirt game Thursday night against Seattle. He wins at Seattle, B, and they, and win, they the win the West. Now we see, now we set up the playoffs. The Brock train is is chugging well, the Brock along. Train, dude. There's no there's no room on the Brock train. Well, I'm throwing logs there's no, in there. there. There's no room on the Brock train. <laughs> Again, I'm going to take it week by week. <laughs> I, I, I was well. very impressed yesterday. <laughs> I'm taking it week by week. I'm taking it week by week. I might we be did the conductor because look, he looks way better than Mullins. Oh, yeah. No, nah, Larry Kruger's a conductor. You okay. can't be the okay, conductor. Okay, okay. No, no, fair enough. I'm Kruger's talking about hopping on the bandwagon. Right. He was yeah, kind yeah, of the yeah, originator yeah, 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 yeah. of the train. Right. I'm hopping right. on the bandwagon. I'm trying right. to go from the caboose to the... What's the front? Right. What's the front? Uh, the coach. Is it coach? Co- is it coach? I don't know. Is it the engine? The, the engine? The, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. All right. What's coming up with the game? Sponsored by Fremont Bank, Full Service Banking, No Compromises. More Brock talk. We're going to get all Line them up, Niner fans. They're, they're already lined up. They're Let's waiting go. on us. We're, we're talking too much. Sorry. We'll go out to the Roasters. Oh, my on the God. Other it side. is lined up. Wow. <laughs> we'll go out to the other side in a second. Looks like a and Christmas talk about tree. the Niners victory over Tampa Bay. Brock Purdy leads the way 35 to 7. 35 to 7. Jeez, and I was talking to Slater Saturday thinking the game was going to go under. He's like, I love the under. I was like, I do too. Anthony Slater? Yeah. Well, the under didn't hit. The over hit, I believe. Our new betting guru. I like it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, we're coming up on the roast. 888-957-9570. We'll get to the calls after this break. Coming up here on the roast. Can you smell what the Brock is cooking? It's Brock Purdy's show making his NFL starting debut when he's back to pass. Pressure coming. Steps away. Looking to run. Touchdown! I want to rock and roll all night. Purdy makes a swim move and finds Debo Samuel. Are you kidding me? What a play in the crowd. Loves it from Brock Purdy. All aboard the Purdy Express right here on 95.7 The Game. Woo-woo! Let me guess. You've been staring at a shopping list since the day after Thanksgiving telling yourself, huh, I'll get to this next weekend. Well, guess what? Next weekend... It's freaking Christmas. First stop, Flag and Anthem. You've heard me talk about Flag and Anthem before because you know I love it, but I seriously cannot say enough good things about them. 
It's Christian McCaffrey's go-to brand for flannels, sweaters, jackets, and more. And it's quickly becoming mine, too. They even have women's clothing, so you really can do all your shopping all in one place. Head over to flagandanthem.com and use the code GAME, G-A-M-E, for 25% off your purchase. And be sure to place your orders by December 19th for guaranteed holiday delivery. Flag and Anthem, premium clothes without the premium price tag. This holiday season, tee it up at the Golf Mart for the hottest gifts from Callaway and Bushnell. Receive up to $50 off Callaway Rogue ST Woods. And while you're there, grab a dozen Callaway Chrome Soft Golf Balls and from Bushnell. Save up to $75 on the Tour V5 and Tour V5 Shift Range Finders. There's also gift cards for those favorite golfers on your list. Don't miss these holiday gifts and more happening now at the Golf Mart. Home of the 90-day satisfaction guarantee. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you 24-7, with supplies and solutions for every industry, and access to product specialists ready to help. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. This week at Staples, save 40% on... Thanks for your business this year. Save 40% on... Happy holidays, Nana. Save 40% on... You are cordially invited. Right now at Staples, you can save 40% on custom printed holiday cards and invitations. So you can say, thanks for a great year, happy holidays, or come on over, all for less. For everything you need printed this holiday, go to Staples, the working and learning store. In-store and online, ends 1217. Exclusions and restrictions apply. AT&T Fiber presents a straightforward moment inspired by straightforward pricing. And now we just cube the pancetta as such. So what's on the menu tonight? This carbonara I found online. It's fire. You're going to love it, Mom. I hope you hold on to this AT&T Fiber, son. It's nice. Yeah, you should settle down now that you're a good gillionaire. Oh, I am. I finally found the one internet I've been looking for my whole life. So, no more one-year stands? No, I'm done with all that. With AT&T Fiber, there's no price increase at 12 months. Uh, What about equipment fees? Nerp. Those were never any good for you. Exactly. But now, everything's completely straightforward. Well, in the spirit of being straightforward, I never liked any of your old ones. Me neither. Y'all never told me that. But we're being straightforward now, which feels good, yeah? Yeah. Now let's get straightforward about that girl he's been seeing. Straightforward is better. No equipment fees, no data caps, no price increase at 12 months. Live like a gagillionaire with AT&T Fiber. Limited availability in select areas. Visit att.com slash hypergig for details. At Harris Ranch, we do beef. Just like we've done for over 50 years. Beef that's raised locally right here in California. Tender steaks, awesome burgers, and California classics like tri-tip roast. The flavor you crave. The quality you trust time after delicious time. Come on, it's time to get out and grill. Harris Ranch, we do beef. Legendary beef, legendary quality. Hi, I'm Aaron, owner of California Deluxe Windows. Ever notice? When your neighbors get new windows, there is a large black eye of broken stucco, uneven plaster, and even mismatched paint. At California Deluxe Windows, we never leave a ring around the window. Why? Because we are one of the only companies in California who custom crafts every window and door to your home's exact measurements. Almost everyone else on the radio is a distributor. They grab a window from a warehouse, break open your walls, shove it in, and patch things up. At California Deluxe Windows, we take pride in our work. Our installation technique is so precise, we do not break your stucco. Your house could be covered with potato chips, and we wouldn't crack one. Call now, and for a limited time, you get 30% off your entire order and 24 months of interest-free financing. 800-874-3600. 800-874-3600. That's 800-874-3600. California Deluxe Windows. Windows engineered for life. Certain terms and conditions apply. CSLB number 775. Hey, Santa Clara County sports fans. The new Omicron booster is here and available for everyone 12 and older. Remember that kids can get really sick with COVID and the effects can be serious and long-term. You can't be at the top of your game when you're super fatigued. So keep your athletes safe this fall and winter with this important booster. And of course, wear a high quality mask whenever you're inside with lots of people. Visit sccfreevax.org or call 211 to make your booster appointment. Stay healthy and stay in the game. 
Where can you wrap up your holiday shopping and unwrap the holiday spirit? Lowe's, actually. Explore the wonder of Winterfest at Lowe's. Find unbeatable deals on unbeatable gifts like the latest tech. A Google Nest smart thermostat was one twenty nine ninety nine, now eighty nine ninety nine. Or save one hundred dollars on a Blackstone thirty inch flat top grill, now two ninety nine. Celebrate the season and check off all of your holiday shopping at Lowe's, home to any possibility. Offer valid to twelve twenty four while supplies last. Here's to Prilosec OTC. Without Prilosec, I wouldn't be able to enjoy all this yummy holiday food. Speaking of, whoever made that apple pie, delicious. I just take one pill each morning and zero heartburn all day. So cheers to Prilosec OTC. Ooh, are those jalapeno poppers? Prilosec OTC prevents excess acid that can cause heartburn, so you can enjoy the holidays. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. They're going to run it to McCaffrey. for six. I mean, this is just an offense that's firing absolutely on all cylinders. It's your boy Guru from Stani and Guru, noon to three, right here on 95.7 The Game. Now back to the morning roast. I'm a roaster because these two guys are my guys. Yin and Yang, right here on 95.7 The Game. Kevin Burkhart, Greg Olson on the call for Fox Sports. Christian McCaffrey, 14 carries, 119 yards. He averaged 8.5 yards a carry. Wow. Yesterday against Tampa Bay had a touchdown in the pass game. Two catches, 34 yards, along with 27, and another touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, how we like that trade? How we like that trade? What a difference maker he is. And he's going to be very important moving down the stretch without Debo Samuel, who, of course, got his ankle twisted. They're calling it a high ankle sprain that he suffered in the second quarter. He got cut it off after catching four passes from Jock, Jock Purdy, uh, Brock Purdy, <laughs> uh, four catches, 43 yards, uh, a log of 18 as the Niners win their sixth straight game. They're now 9-4, and four, and they could clinch the West with a win on Thursday. This segment is presented by Boxer and Gerson, Northern California's premier <clears throat> workers' compensation Workers' compensation law firm helping injured workers get their lives back for over 40 years. No guess. All calls today. All calls today. 888-957-9570. Shasky, Brock Purdy mania is real. People are ready to give him the keys to the franchise. I mean, two games. I, I'm not mad at people for being excited. Look, be like, I, look, man. Giving them keys to the franchise. Look, look, can, can, can you meet me here? This year has been such a roller coaster. I'm blown away that we're here. And now that we're here, people could say, pump the brakes. This No, I'm not going to pump the brakes. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ride the slip and slide. I'm going to see where this thing takes me. Let's do it. Let's hop on the crazy train. I'm in the cab, as people have been texting me. It's the cab, the front of the uh, of the bandwagon. The cab. All right? And let's just see where it goes. And maybe it crashes and burns. But maybe... Maybe we get to our destination. I don't know. But all I know is this. They've won nine games. All right? They're nine and four right Six now. Straight. They are one step away. If they can win on Thursday up in Seattle, which is going to be a ridiculous game. We'll get into it Can't all week. Can't wait. Can't wait. If they can beat Seattle up in Seattle, they win the West. I mean, just come on. So Come on. You ever been to Seattle? Oh, yeah. You've been in that stadium? Not to the stadium, but I've been to Seattle. All right. So, been in Seattle. Thursday night will be the first time I go to Lumen Field. Oh. Uh, a little jaunt? A little leaving, the, leaving after the show. Okay. Coming back that night. Oh. And hopefully it's a hat and t-shirt game. A hat and t-shirt game. But Seattle losing yesterday to Carolina shocked all of us. They're not the same team without Kenneth Walker their third. No. They're not. Not even close. We'll see if he plays Thursday. That stadium's going to be crazy loud. This would be Brock Purdy's first road start. First road start on Thursday night football. Amazon. He's going to get all the headlines. Al Michaels, Kirk Herbstreit will be salivating and over Brock Purdy. And cue my dad calling me up 15 times to set up Amazon Prime on his television. Oh, boy. He still doesn't know how to do it? Oh, uh, who knows? I just know he's going to. He called me yesterday to cut up a prime rib for his friends and everything before I went to the Niner game. It was a complete nightmare. Oh, boy. And then called me in the middle of the game and then called me up after the game chanting about Brock Purdy. Oh, boy. He's and, all in. And he was very sad for Debo. He's all in. How can you not be? <laughs> we have no other choice. Let's do this. Hey, people send a text about Shabadiah. 
Today's not the day. No, we're not talking about Sean Maniah. Clever I move refuse. by the Giants Clever. to release that news Gutsy. in the middle of the night. Great news dump, San Francisco. Awesome not, PR job. I'm not spending an ounce of my energy today on negativity. The Niners won a huge game against and, one of the and, greatest quarterbacks hey, who ever lived. It, the hometown boy, they dismantled them. Another blowout this year. Another blowout. All right, and then Kyle Shanahan just in his bag. The only little tiny, he's like, okay, Debo got hurt. That stinks. It absolutely stinks. It's a gut punch. But it sounds like he's going to be okay at some point down the stretch for the playoffs. I love where they're at. And then the Warriors won a huge game oh, against the Celtics. Splash Brothers combined for 66 points. Clay was incredible. Looney season high, 15 rebounds. Didn't know that. Clay, 24 that first half. He scored 20 points in nine of his last 11. <laughs> wow. He had that five-game stretch, and, but now it's extended. He got rid of social media. He started cooking. Yeah. Thank God he got rid of social media. Thank God he stopped He stopped listening to the Morty Rose. He stopped listening to us, Shasky. So that's that. He's on a heater. Curry's playing like an MVP. And Jonathan Kaminga. Jonathan Kaminga, folks. Emerging. <laughs> Emerging. He's turned the corner. He's turned the corner. Draymond's playing great basketball. For sure. Jordan Poole scored 20 in five straight games, even though the efficiency the efficiency wasn't there Saturday night. The Warriors roll 14-13. to 13, They destroyed the Celtics. Now they go on a six-game road trip on the East Coast. I'm excited. This is, it's exciting to be a Bay Area sport fan. You got the Niners on the cusp of coming to the NFC West. You got the Warriors going on a six-game road trip to prove that they're the champs again. As Draymond Green said, if we bring our A game, nobody is beating us. And here's the silver lining if you're a Giants fan out there. Like, honestly, tickets are going to be dirt cheap this year. And we still won't go. Really short lines in the bathrooms, too. Very excited for that. And we still won't go. And we still won't go. Let's ride it. I'm ready, Niner fans. Let's go. TC Sacramento, what's happening? I'm a You're Niner. Four one five. TC, what's happening? Bonte and Shasky, what's up with my bros? I'm up, so baby? excited. Yeah, hey, listen, I'm a, I'm excited too, bro. I'm uh, look, I'm juice. I'm not doom and gloom or anything, bro. Like Shasky, I'm not trying to ruin the moment, Bonte or anything, bro. Hmm. Rod Purdy looks solid, right? So all Brock Purdy is doing, to be honest with you, is the Jimmy Garoppolo bringing him back next season and the whole Tom Brady talk, he put that to bed, bro. It's only been two games, but he's putting that to bed. This will be Trey Lance and Brock Purdy's team going forward. You get what I'm saying? No, Brock Purdy's not getting the keys. Brock Purdy is balling. You get what I'm saying? But we can't forget about Trey Lance, bro. That's why I always call and talk to you guys. It seems like everybody's forgetting about this guy. He's still... If there's one thing that I've learned as a 49er fan, I have no idea what's going to happen at quarterback. And anything that we think to be the truth today, three weeks from now, could be totally different. So right now, this morning, I wake up and I have the utmost confidence in Brock Purdy. You asked me that three weeks ago, I would have laughed at myself for insulting my intelligence. And here we are today. So if you tell me it's going to be Trey next year, I'd believe it. If you told me it's going to be Brock next year, I'd certainly believe that. If you told me they brought in Tom Brady, I'd probably believe that as well. I don't know what to make of it. All I know, they're 9-4, and four, and they have a chance to win the NFC West if they win on Thursday. And they just dismantled the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home. And Tom, uh, Tampa Bay, Tom Brady looked unbelievably terrible. He looked bad. He looked terrible. Well, it, again, when you get a great pass rush, this is why in the playoffs, when you get great pass rush, you get great defense, you can make all the great quarterbacks look bad. Peyton Manning looked bad for years in his postseason. You're right, Pete. You know what I'm saying? You're Tom right. Brady. I remember when the New York Jets, when he was seeing ghosts in a divisional round against the Jets New and York Rex Giants. Ryan. You know, New York Giants twice. You get a great pass rush, you can fluster any quarterback. And again, I always talk, we had Baldy in studio last Friday. Shout out to Brian Baldinger. Mm -hmm. Saw him at the Warriors game. He was on the court taking photos. Of I did. I Stephen saw that a. too. He stopped by the gatehouse after the game. Oh, did he? Bald, Baldy's the man. He's the man. Um, he is the best. I, so many people we're, told we're, me how great that show was Friday. He, he discussed something and said, I don't think Brady is Brady playing in the 80s. And we got a glimpse of that yesterday. The Niners were hitting yesterday. They were trying to put Godwin, Mike Evans, for net, they were trying to put him in body bags last night at Levi Stadium. Brady doesn't survive in the 80s to me because that pass rush, man, he's seeing it. The rules protect the quarterback so damn much these days. You can't touch him. We saw the Sunday night football game. Phillips smacks Justin Herbert for a big time sack. They call rough in the passer. I mean, it was the, a joke. The first Brock Purdy play. I mean, yeah. that to me is not a personal foul. It's not. It's a tackle. That's football. Yes. That's football. That's Al Davis said it. Set the tone. Yeah. First 10 play, 
First 10 plays, the quarterback has to go down. What a quarterback went down the first play, and they called a play. They called a flag. Suck, but you got to recover, and the Niners recovered, and they go down to score uh, and take a 7 nothing lead. Let's go to Gene in Oakland. Gene in Oakland, hey, what's Gene? happening? You're on the roast. Hey, fellas. Hey, more importantly, uh, uh, Purdy recovered. I mean, he I, took a massive hit. Thank and you. He got right up, and uh, this kid has got... You know, there's no reason why he can't be the guy. That's what I'm saying. It's too wow. early to say. For, yeah, it's too early to say. The guy. Sure, would you say the guy? You mean the guy long term for the 49ers? Possibly. Oh, hey, look, man. he's playing. He was playing across the field from the biggest dark horse wonder of all time. Exactly. Tom Brady. All right. The guy was the sixth round draft pick. All right. What 180 something pick. Mm -hmm. All right. He was too too slow. Didn't have much of an arm. Didn't show much at Michigan, okay? But as soon as he got his chance, when Drew Bledsoe went down, well, look what he's done, all right? Second-best quarterback of all time. I mean, they say that uh, Purdy has got uh, a, w a weak arm, but those uh, those long passes did the trick. Well, uh, Gene, he's, he's let me stop you right there, because I agree. We all are suckers. I'm the worst at it. Talent. 6'5", throw the ball through a brick wall. All of that gets negated if you are an incredible decision maker and just an unorthodox playmaker. And that's what this kid feels like he is. Now, I'm not saying that I don't know if he's the long term answer, but for right now, he's pulling all the levers and this offense looks ridiculous. Yeah. Can I say one more thing? Yeah, get in there. The, the thing that, that, okay, so the thing that, that impresses me the most is. He rises to the occasion. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's got a little bit of Montana and Brady in him, all right? He loves the spotlight, okay? That's a rare, rare uh, quality. And that, more than anything, I think is going to give him a, a good chance to succeed in this league. Yeah, I mean, he's making plays where there are none. He gets two free rushers yesterday. He, like, wiggles out of it, steps up, slinging the ball across his body. He's using different arm um, angles. Look, I don't... <laughs> Is he Mahomes? Can he beat Mahomes? Who cares? Win the West. Just win each single week. That's all we need. Like, we were talking just two weeks ago. Hey, I'll take Jimmy Garoppolo over anybody in the NFC. And and I kind of agreed with that. I agreed with where people take a party over. No, I'm not saying that. Right, but what, right, I'm, right, but right. what I'm saying is, <laughs> it's not necessarily about having the most amount of talent. It's about can you use the players well, around you and play within the fabric of the system. Huh. And right now, Shanahan's putting together a script and he's executing it flawlessly. It's, it's complimentary football. You have a great defense. So that's the thing with this defense. Yeah. If you get a lead, you're going to win a lot of football games during a six exactly. game win, during a six game winning streak. The 49ers have outscored their opponents 172 to 64. That's crazy. 172 to 64. Wow. That's an average score of 28.6 points per game. Wow. And giving up just 10.6 points per game. They're outscoring teams by 18 points during this six game winning streak. Blowouts. These are blowouts, folks. Fonte. That was like the one knock we had on Shanahan. Too many close games. So what, let, let's, again, 172 to 64 in the last six games during yeah. the six game win streak. 28.6 points per game for the 49ers during a six-game winning streak. They're giving up 10.6 points per game. They aren't scoring opponents by 18 points per game during a six-game winning streak. It's unbelievable. Jimmy started it. you got to give Jimmy his flowers. The season turned around in the third quarter of the Rams game at SoFi Stadium. Yes. That's when the season flipped. Yes. Down 14-10. Jimmy goes 7 of 8 on that drive and goes throws for 71 yards. They take a 17-14 lead. They, they move on. They win that football game. All right. Give Jimmy his flowers. He did a lot for this team. He stabilized the season. Without Jimmy, the season is over. Do I believe Brock could do this earlier in the season? How am I? I don't know. I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't know. I agree. But give Jimmy his credit. I'm not ready to kick the tire. Like, Jimmy's no, probably going to move got on. Them to this but Jimmy point. got him to this point. Yeah. And what Brock Purdy said last week is Jimmy helped him study, helped him in a film room, and prepped him for this moment. And then you see Brian Greasy on the sideline. You see Trey Lance on the sideline mm -hmm. talking to Brock Purdy every chance they get. And Brock Purdy, man, give him what he – look, 16 to 21, 185 yards. The biggest takeaway for me, forget the arm talent, mm -hmm. forget the mm -hmm. throws. It's the poise and the moxie in the pocket. The blitz is coming, and he's standing in there delivering dimes. All right? The blitz is coming, and he's standing he in that pocket and taking punishment, and he's not getting rattled. I'll give him his crap. I'll give him his props for that. 
He's a, he's a poised young man. I mean, I'm getting Flutie type vibes in terms of like the way he's making plays. Now, I, I know Flutie had a great arm, so I don't want to dismiss his actual God given talent. But in terms of just he's just making plays, just positive play after positive play, and negating the big losses. We do this at other positions, though. B, how come a guy can turn into a Wes Welker right. out of nowhere? Yeah, but we rarely see it at quarterback, right? We we rarely like we've got Brady, okay? But people forget like. Brady was drafted in baseball as well. Brady has a cannon of an arm. He went to mm-hmm. one of the glorified schools at the time. Like mm-hmm. Michigan was at the time a great school. Some weird stuff going on with right. the quarterback who had been drafted. Drew Henson, yeah, there Brian was some Greasy. weird stuff. We've forgotten it. He went to a big time school in no terms doubt. of Michigan at the time. And yeah, he fell through the cracks. Even Russell Wilson, he's drafted in like the fourth round. Yep. You know what I mean? It was third round, fourth round, whatever third it was. Round. Right? I mean, Kirk Cousins drafted later on in the draft. Third round. But we never give those guys enough credit. Yet we see it at other positions. Well, this guy, this is different. This guy was the last pick in the NFL draft. Okay, We've so, never seen anything like this. So if he was drafted in the sixth no, round, if this, he was drafted in the fifth or sixth round, we'd be looking at it differently? I think so. You really, this guy's the last pick of the I NFL know, draft. it's random. Mr. Irrelevant. Yeah, but we do this at other positions. Why can't we allow our no, brains we can. To- we can, but you rarely see the last pick I know, of the draft. I know. It's an no outlier. No what position. But our, how many, but how many Mr. Best players, Irrelevance have been a no, factor no, in the NFL? No, I Whether agree. it's a D tackle, B. offensive line, running back, wide receiver, quarterback, whatever. Uh, it, it, it's, it's the last pick of the draft. Bonte, it never happens. But let's look at this roster for real quick. Their best players are mid to late round picks. There's no doubt. George Kittle has as much talent as anyone in the league. Fifth round pick. Fred Warner. Third round pick converted yep. from safety as as much talent as anyone in the league. Drake now, Greenlaw, yes, Drake Greenlaw, Drake fifth Greenlaw, round pick, exactly. Fifth round pick. Now, now look, Purdy, the last pick of the draft. Right. It, this is an outlier. I'm just saying we do this at other positions and we don't blink an eye. We no one questions. Fred Warner belongs in the middle of the field. Right. He's as good as anyone, and yet it doesn't matter where he was drafted. Now, who cares where he was picked? Right. Purdy is pulling the levers and it's working. Does does the magic carpet ride evaporate and then and we come we turn back into a pumpkin? I'm cross analogizing here, but like I don't know. But I'm here for the carpet ride. Right. Here's one guy who's not happy. Uh, 408 <laughs> Xfinity Mobile text line. Purdy had thrown for 185 yards at halftime. I didn't even realize this. They didn't throw in the second half because it was already a blowout. He needed Purdy to get 201 yards passing to hit his player prop parlay. Cannot believe it. That's a bad, bad, bad I, beat right can, there. Can That's I be honest? Beat. I don't care about no, your I, parlay. Yeah, I do. I, All I, I, I care about man. was them winning hey, that game. Four away. I'm with you. <laughs> I feel for you. I've been on the wrong end of those situations. I mean, like, like, like for example, I'm. Uh, we were talking to, to Baldy about you know Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner, like, if you wa- I watched the first couple games. I remember right. watching him against the Niners. I'm like, he does nothing spectacular. But then you watch him, and it's like he just got the ball out yeah. to Torrey Holt well, and to Isaac Bruce and Marshall Falk, no. and he just hit all those dudes. And at some point, I just tapped out, and I was like, you know what? He's a great player. Dude, he. And I'm not there he, with that Brock first yet. Start, that first start against the Niners, he lit them up. They beat him 42 to 20. Yeah, that did game. you think it was yeah. real? I did. I After did. that one, because the Niners had dominated the Rams. They won, what was it, 17 straight or 19 straight, whatever Dante, it was. I thought he was a byproduct of the players nah, around him. Dude. Marshall and Torrey Holt yeah, but and Ozzie We didn't Keen even know Torrey Holt was that good. That was the fourth game of the season. B. Torrey Holt was a rookie. I, I was a rookie. He destroyed I think Bruce them. Was start, yeah, Kurt Warner destroyed them. He I'm destroyed saying, oh, they're them. real. I thought once they blew out the Niners, because I hadn't seen it in so, eight years. I'm okay. Well, I, I but, disagree with that, because I did not think Kurt Warner I, I was, was something special. I was like, damn. He's and legit. then he did. He's but legit. he was also much bigger. You're listening to 95.7 The Game, KGMZ FM and HD1 San Francisco, always live on the free Odyssey app. Download the Odyssey app, your favorite. 95.7 The Game for the best and most up-to-date sports coverage. And do not forget that you can also watch us every single day on our YouTube and Twitch streams. Just log out to search 95.7 The Game. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel while you are there. Let's go back out to the lines. Rhea in Lancaster. What's up, Rhea? Rhea, what's happening? You're on the roast. Good morning, gentlemen. Happy Victory Monday. Happy Victory Monday. I am calling to celebrate Brock. I said last Monday when I called, I said I felt like we could win this game because there was no tape on him for people to, you know, look at specifically to game plan for him. So, but I just love his decision making Mm -hmm. is Mm -hmm. just, he, when he ran for that touchdown, he did that immediately. Like he saw nothing was happening. He just took off. I was like, that's right. Yes. Just go. Just go. That was a great play. And when, <laughs> yeah, it was fantastic because they were just like they didn't know what was happening. Mm-hmm. And then when we before half, when we we 
or throwing a touchdown before the half instead of going for some kind of field goal. I was like, beautiful. That's, we don't get the ball back yes. when we come back for the second half. So we need to score mm-hmm. a touchdown right mm-hmm. now. You know, so I was just in awe of everything he was doing. He was just, he was fantastic. He was fantastic. Rhea, does also, it? Also, shout out. Uh-huh. He's got he's got this like swashbuckler cutthroat thing about him where like okay you guys are you know you're gonna press everybody I'm going deep and it's like whoa and he's just ripping it downfield like right. that, that touchdown before halftime mm-hmm. felt like a game ender right before halftime yeah. no it was I I, yeah. I thought I thought yeah. the game I thought that that play right there because a lot of people say well Brady twenty eight to three the Super Bowl thanks for the call real <laughs> I was thinking I thought, it. Look, look, I thought the biggest I thought the biggest possession under like we could all point to the offensive possessions yeah, yeah. with Brock Purdy yeah, yeah but I thought when Tampa Bay got the ball it's five oh five left in the first half down twenty one nothing they go right down the football field Brady hits Godwin for a big play for thirty two yards they're cooking at the seventeen right then they get inside the ten yard line yeah it's second and one at the Niners eight second and one at the eight yard line I'm thinking all right. 21 7. What are you going to do? I know. What are you going to do? Next thing you know, Brady had complete the Godwin. He's crying too. He runs to the referees. He's pointing at him. He's cursing him out. He's yada, yada, yada. And then on fourth down, he throws his short to Mike Evans. He missed it. He missed it. Were you surprised they didn't get a field goal there? No, you had to go for it. You thought you had yeah, to go for it's, it? It's fourth and two. I know. It's Brady. I know. This is the new NFL. And I thought he was getting a touchdown. I, I, I thought, thought were... in my mind, I was like, this game is not over. So the Niners get the ball back from their own nine-yard line with 229 left. They go 91 yards. 91 yards and take a 28 nothing lead. Now, was it a gift that they got the defensive holding call on the pick? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was a gift. I didn't think there was defensive holding. For sure. That was a bad read no, by Brock they, Purdy. They got a bailout they got a call. Gift. I'll but take the it. the next play. That's what I'm saying. They hit Brendan Ayuk with the stutter and go. And Brock Purdy with a shoulder, the pump fake. Yes. His ball skills in the pocket. So damn impressive. I didn't think he had that. I didn't think he, Be, I didn't think he had that. When he did the pump Sorry. fake and the, the, the line on the, on the free release play where they threw the D-ball and the right. linebacker jumps in the air and he kind of wiggles behind him and then he's running and he's throwing off the one foot as he's lobbing yep. one out. At some point, I'm just like, dude, I'm here for this. This is erratic and I mean, frenetic and wild. Okay. He's making plays. Where, where's the Michelle drop? Do we have another choice? No. We don't have a choice. Tony and Santa Rosa. Brocky Tony. Balboa. Tony, Tony, what's happening? It's from the YouTube chat. <laughs> man, I'm feeling good, man. I was at the game yesterday in the rain and the cold. It was great. The Purdy chance were unreal. Unbelievable. It was, unreal. It was, unreal. It was, it was like, It got a little chilly out there, too. They no were, doubt. man. And, man, those two dons that he threw, he was getting hit when he threw those, too. Yeah, oh, I know. The one to CMC, he got he got twisted in between three or four guys. I still couldn't believe he completed that pass. The kid can move. He's elusive in the pocket. I mean, like, I don't want to get too far ahead, but, man, uh, it looks real. <laughs> I, it's like the Kaepernick thing when it happened. It looks real. I mean, you can't make this stuff up the way he's I, playing, man. I, Ultimate I, confidence. I, I, ultimate swag. Yeah, no, he has swagger. I, I want to. I want to ask you, Shasky, on the other side. Okay, what's the difference from Purdy, Mullins, and CJ Beathard? And I want you to ask that on. I want you to yeah, answer yeah, that yeah, on the yeah, other yeah, side yeah. because this does look different. I never bought into Mullins. I didn't buy into CJ. CJ's. Purdy looks a little different. I've got a lot of answers Purdy, on that. Purdy, Purdy looks a little different. All right, we'll get to the calls coming up on the other side. More coming up on the morning roast. Brought to you by Bed Bath & Beyond. Hey, here's a holiday gift from Bed Bath & Beyond. Between now and Christmas, get 25% off your entire purchase by texting JOY to 239663. That's 239663. New offers every day at Bed Bath & Beyond. Exclusions apply. See website for details. Not even Tom Brady was a match for Brock Purdy and the 49ers. Purdy, back to throw. Pressure coming. Steps away. Looking to run. It in for the touchdown. Purdy makes a swim move and finds Debo Samuel. Are you kidding me? What a play, and the crowd loves it from Brock Purdy. What's coming? Purdy lofting, going deep. Has McCaffrey. He's got it. Touchdown, San Francisco. We are reacting to Niners Bucks all day long. Hell yeah! On 95 7 the game. If you're considering remodeling your home as we approach 2023, talk with your architect or designer now about utilizing Golden State Window and Door 
for your upcoming project. Each location across the Bay Area features beautifully planned displays of doors and windows. You'll be surprised by the variety of styles that are available. There's nothing like seeing and feeling how smooth these modern windows and doors can open and close. You'll see double hung casement sliders and fixed windows. Also, buy, uh, buy fold windows and doors. Their respected partners include Anderson, Milgard, Marvin, and many other top brands. Be sure to see Golden State Window and Doors' wide variety of hardware accessories like handles, knobs, locks, and casings. We're confident you'll be inspired. Rest assured, the well-informed staff is ready to answer questions and help with orders. For locations, images, and more, visit goldenstatelumber.com. Click products, then windows and doors. Family-owned for three generations. Golden State, when you succeed, we succeed. And a one, two... Three in play. Yes, this is a holiday cover, and we've never sang professionally. But you can save a sleigh load over Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T with hundreds in your pocket. There is no better prize, and mobile speeds that are faster than a room clearing when we harmonize. We can't sing well, but our savings are swell on the fastest mobile service. We say, if you haven't turned the sound down, yes, which fix Xfinity Mobile. Today. Hey. Great at savings? Not singing. Join the 5 million customers and counting that have switched to Xfinity Mobile, the fastest mobile service with 5G and millions of Wi-Fi hotspots. And get the best price for two lines of unlimited with 5G, compared to the lowest price plans of the top three carriers. Just $30 a line per month. Learn more at Xfinity.com slash fastest mobile. Xfinity Unlimited intro service and Xfinity Internet required. Taxes and fees extra. Reduce speeds up to 20 gigabytes of usage. Data thresholds may vary. Monster free pick action available. Available Monday night from TakingVegas.com. I am Chris Hodge, and these weeknight pro football games have been gold for us, and we have a side and total parlay tonight. New England, Arizona, two easy ways to get it. 8889 win now is the number to call. It will be for free on a recorded message. 888-994-6669. Now, if you call the hotline, not only will you receive New England and Arizona for free tonight, side and total, we also have bowl situations available starting on friday we are releasing those games early and we have college of pro basketball for the next week absolutely free at 888-9 win now 888-994-6669 if you just want side in total new england arizona tonight visit takingvegas.com the two plays that are over at takingvegas.com so two ways to get the plays: side in total tonight don't miss out have a great monday everyone receipts ever. Don't miss out for 2022. Donate at carsforkids.org and your car can be picked up tomorrow. was almost the holidays and all over the state, not a creature was stirring, except for, well, Nate. He was panicked, in need of a really good gift. Nate's a procrastinator, if you catch my drift. So off he dashed to the closest store, and there found holiday scratchers galore. Now Nate won't get a lump of coal, unless he burns the holiday casserole. Yes, scratchers from the California Lottery are great, especially for Mr. Procrasta, Nate. So when it's time to get your gift shopping out of the way, try scratchers. A little play can make your day. Please play responsibly. Must be 18 years or older to purchase player claim. I'm Bob Burke, founder and chairman of Burke America Parts Group, a family of brands that includes RepairClinic.com, an appliance and HVAC parts solution company that's grown into an international brand. Before AmericanEagle.com, we partially launched a new technology platform developed by another firm. American Eagle helped take our technology to a whole new level with digital marketing, software development, and business insights into our key markets, appliances, HVAC, and outdoor power equipment, and did so both on time and on budget. AmericanEagle.com has the resources, experience, and talent needed to produce solutions. 
Our new technology platform developed by AmericanEagle.com has produced tremendous results with higher traffic, conversion, engagement, and online revenue. If you have any home repairs you need to take care of, check us out at RepairClinic.com. If you need a world-class website or technology project, then I would highly recommend AmericanEagle.com. Call AmericanEagle.com at 773-NETWORK. That's AmericanEagle.com, 773-NETWORK. They're going to pitch it to Samuel. Right side, gets a block. Samuel cuts it upfield. Debo Samuel is in for the touchdown. What a start. The Morning Roast is live on YouTube right now. Take it away, Bonte. What up, Curry? Shout out to you, Aisha, and the Curry family. Don't boy. You want to grow up to be just like me? Boy, Christmas with the Currys yesterday. Giving out a bunch of gifts and toys, what Curry does for the Bay Area. Never seen anything like them. Never seen anything like him. 32 points, 7 assists, 6 rebounds. Saturday night against the Boston Celtics. <clears throat> Curry. I was, so I was in the tunnel. <laughs> okay. So I was in the tunnel. Okay. I happened to go in the tunnel. Uh-huh. So I was looking for Anna because she was at the game. Oh, nice. And I'm watching Curry. And I'm like, I've never seen it from that angle. Okay. Him turn around like that. Uh-huh. And he shoots it. And he turns around. And it felt like he was looking towards the baseline where I was at. Oh. And I was like, oh, my gosh. To see that in those jerseys, him just turn around and say, yeah, the Warriors winning. Warriors are winning this game. And D. Wright said the first three minutes of the game, we're watching it. He goes, Warriors going to win this game. I could already see it. I was like, Damn. In my mind, I'm imagining you visualizing Steph Curry doing the Palo Banchero to yeah, you it, it felt as like he it. turns around. It felt like it. It, it. That was as close as it gets. Now take it away, Palo. Bonte. <laughs> yeah, take it away. I love Palo. You think he's caught uh, uh, swept up in, in Brock mania? I think he is. I think he is. How about Nick Bosa? Matt Mayoko tweeted yesterday, Nick Bosa said, <laughs> he shares what he thinks of Brock Purdy. Nick Bosa said, we got a quarterback. Look, look, B, I, I understand that oh boy. There, there's a lot of people that are going to be like, hey, pump the brakes, let's stay reserved. I'm taking it week by week, But, but here, here's my question. Why? Because I, because, why? What are we because worried about? Because I, I need to check myself. What's that? I need to check myself. I'm not ready to give, you see how fickle these things are. We see how fickle it is. One minute we thought Jimmy was the franchise quarterback. The next minute we wanted him out of town. But do we need I him just, to be the franchise quarterback? I, like right well, now, I just need him to I, win I games want a this quarterback. year. I want a quarterback for the next 10 years. Well, well, That's look, what I want. I'm, t- I'm trying to play a quarterback roulette. Okay. You know what I mean? Dude, are the Eagles apologizing because Nick Foles came in and they won a Super Bowl? No, they're not. Absolutely not. They you won know, a Super like, Bowl. I just won a Super Bowl. Is Purdy enough to win us a Super Bowl? I have no idea. I have no idea. I mean, I'm looking at, like, again, it's different. Like, 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 Tampa be, Bay 6 and 7, have they played like a Super Bowl team? Tampa Bay has been mediocre no. this year. No, and, and simultaneously, I don't want to play them in the playoffs strictly because of Brady. Like, and I know, they, I, they I, feel I, they feel very beatable. I, please bring Tampa Bay back. Okay, well, look, I'm, I'm looking team, at... They cannot do anything against this defense. Well, see, I'm looking at I'm looking at the Golden State Warriors who you referenced, right? Joe. Back then, okay, just think about back when he first got drafted. Okay, everybody liked Draymond Green. Like, oh, wow, Big Ten Player of the Year, you know, four-year starter. A lot of comps to Brock Purdy. Now, Brock Purdy was not the Big Ten Player of the Year, but point being, four-year starter, undersized for his position, right? Right. But yet, like, everybody likes the guy, and there's gravity. And then you watch him, and you're like, okay, it doesn't really make sense to the other players that are in the league, but this dude's a winner. Like, and, and I know it's a tough comp, okay, Draymond Green to Brock Purdy. But what I'm saying is sometimes you, you just got to kind of buy into where this thing's going. And I don't know if it's sustainable for 10 years. I don't know. I'm and no, I don't I'm even in. care. So listen. I'm I just want to win so, against whoa, 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 Seattle. Whoa, 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 I said last week I'm taking it week by week. I have no choice but to take it week by week. I want a damn Super Bowl. I enjoyed myself yesterday at Levi Stadium. So don't get awesome. it don't get it twisted that I'm not rooting for Brock Purdy. No, I didn't don't say that. Don't get it twisted that I'm I'm just not gonna get drunk. I'm not gonna get drunk yet. I'm gonna take it week by week. I'm gonna take it week by week. Oh, this is Are a sipping st- tequila. Dude, that dude, I am dude, film comes in. You heard from Rhea. Teams don't have film on them yet. They're gonna adjust at some point. One thing I do know is this kid is tough against the blitz. He's very good against the blitz. But can he sustain that? With, with, can he sustain that, especially without Debo Samuel? Without trying to compare him to every quarterback at every turn or to diminish the other quarterbacks, what I'm seeing from him is I feel like this offense is humming right now. You asked me, Joe, why is this different from Nick Mullins or C.J. Right. Beathard? Well, it felt like when I was watching those guys, 
they would get into the red zone and it get constipated. Right. They would have too many turnover worthy plays. They would have too many big time sacks or losses that would kill a drive. Okay. I'm watching Brock and right now I get small sample size, right. which is totally fair to be reluctant. But in the small sample size, they move the ball really well. They make big chunk plays. They stay out of the big, you know, horrible sack that can kill a drive. Right. He doesn't throw turnover worthy plays. Now the one they got bailed out, that's one. That's one over the two games. But it feels to me like He's got this, two picks now. The other one was on yeah. a fourth down. Yeah. You're throwing yeah, it down the field. Like, okay, that's fine. But it feels like he's done a really good job with ball security and just getting the ball out to the playmakers yes. and utilizing the structure of Shanahan's offense, which has all of these little, Did, hey, here's the big play, Mullen, here's the little play. Didn't Mullins do that early on? Because people got drunk off of Mullins quick. He fumbled in the in the in the pocket a right. lot. He and did. he turned the ball over a lot. And he threw a lot of YOLO passes. I hear you. I hear you. Brock Purdy's been solid so far. It's so and early. It look, it look, look. It's so it's early. It's a hat and t-shirt game Thursday. Beat Seattle. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rain on this parade. It's a great story. It's a great story. Purdy was looking good yesterday. Threw well down the field. Their one lone red zone opportunity, they converted by Purdy running into the end zone. Their running game was really good. Christian McCaffrey taking pressure off him. Christian McCaffrey yesterday averaged 8.5 <laughs> yards a carry. He was special. 14 carries, 119 yeah. yards. Special. Even Ayuk made plays. Ayuk made a couple plays. Great catch Kittle. on the stutter and go. Kittle made some plays early on. He was really targeting Kittle. Mm -hmm. And then Kittle kind of went silent as a pass game yeah, went yeah. silent in the second but half because Kittle they had a big lead. Kittle was run blocking, though. P Kittle he was, was run Kittle blocking. Was good. Really well. and, and this is the other difference between him and Nick Mullins. Just, again, my naked eye. It always felt like Mullins had the propensity to panic, and he'd get he'd get all flustered, right, and then make a horrible decision and throw. At least like the kid but takes what the defense gives him. I feel in the like, moment, and, and though, again, it's small. In that moment, though, people weren't feeling like that with Mullins. They were like, "Oh, this guy's better than Garoppolo." I'm like, "Yo, wait a minute here, man. Well, wait, wait a minute." I, I can we, understand the comp. This and feels different, and See, maybe it's not, but it feels different. I get fandom. Way. I get fandom. We all love the backup quarterback. We all love it. Am I ready to give him the keys to the organization? Let him. Betray battle in training camp. Well, I'm ready we to there. see where this thing goes this year. I'm on the slip and slide. Right. Let's do it. Let's go to the consultant. Consultant in Wanda Creek. We love the consultant here on the morning. Or else, what's happening? Good morning, guys. Oh, man, I'm loving it. And I'm enjoying the moment. You know, I don't exactly. know what's going to be. Exactly. It's right. going to happen every week. I mean, as 49er fans, we all go to the games every every week. You, you, we talk about it whenever I call in. Right. You, know, you guys are asking what you guys think is different, right? I'll tell you what I think is different Give it to me. with Purdy versus the other guy. I think what I'm seeing right now is what we've been talking about when we make the phone calls, when we've been complaining. We're, trying, we're starting to see what happens when someone can, can make a second or third yep. level read beyond 10 yards mm -hmm. across all three layers of the field. That's a great way you of putting it. You don't have to be Patrick Mahomes right. or you don't have to be Josh Allen in Mike Shanahan's offense. This is what... Every single person that, that you guys get on the phone uh, that's an industry pundit that talks about the genius of, of Shanahan, we're at the games all the day. We see everyone running open. Mm -hmm. Right. Every other play, there's someone open mm -hmm. that's not getting the ball. Purdy, at a higher percentage than all the other guys, is getting open people the ball. Yep. And all of a sudden, this entire offense opens up. That's what we're seeing right now, and I am loving it. Me too. It, it's a great great oh. call because on a great point, he is hitting everybody. Second reads, third reads, going through the progressions. It is fascinating to see in real time. It is fat. I never felt yesterday that the Niners were compromised at quarterback. No, that's when we go into games. Sometimes you see Jimmy early on; he's a little skittish. It feels he's a little fidgety. You're like, oh boy, yeah. All right, just run the ball. Let's play some solid defense. And this is not a knock on Jimmy. It is what it is, which is why the 49ers have tried to move off of Jimmy. Not only that, the injuries as well. Can't sustain a 16 game season. Can't stay healthy. So then you see Brock, and it felt like he just had total command of the offense. Yeah. Again, you watch the game back. Greg Olson, who called the game yesterday with Kevin Burkhardt on Fox Sports, he said it. Look at the way the sideline is reacting to him. It was the same way the sideline reacted to Trey Lance in that practice we saw at training camp his rookie season. Oh, my God, did you see that? Oh, man. Everybody in our seats, Diego Zuri. Man, what? Sean. Oh man. oh, man, we may have something here. All of a sudden, you start seeing people believe in real time saying, you know what? Maybe the unthinkable can happen. Now, I'm not going to talk about Operation Glendale. I just want Operation Red Paint. Operation yeah, Red win Paint, the West. which means win the West, get a home playoff game, and we'll see what happens from there. I mean, Bonte, he beat two teams that 
are playoff caliber. Okay, like whatever you think about Tampa Bay, if they were in another division, it'd be different, but they're not. They're in the NFC South. They're a playoff caliber team. All right, forget Brady for just a second, right. just that team. And then the Dolphins, who he came in in relief and, and won, they're a playoff caliber team. I don't know if they're going to make the playoffs. It, they were on a nice run. They're mm -hmm. slipping now, but that's a playoff caliber team. Mm -hmm. So you can only play who's on the schedule. And the next one, another playoff caliber team in Seattle. Also slipping. Now, timing's everything. We'll see what happens right. here. Bonte, I, I'm just, I'm really excited for him. And then to see his parents doing that what cool. they, that was awesome. Story. I mean, it's that was really, story. everybody can relate to that. It's a great story. No, enjoy the moment. Let's go to Robin in the city. Robin in the city, I'm sure she told me last week she has more faith in Brock than Trey. And Robin was right. She, a lot of people have a lot more faith in Brock than Trey. Robin, what's happening? Hey, you guys. Hey, how, good morning. Good morning. Hey, Joe. Hey. Nice to get on your case. Now do you see why you were just saying last week, sweetheart, how you don't understand why people preferred Brock over Lance? But now you're saying something different. Do you see why? I'll just say this, you guys. I'm just going to say this. I I'm always a fan of someone that's been to four years of college, at least three years of college, in basketball and in football because they come into the league to me more skilled and this is why I'm against this one and done like in basketball because it all they all look like high school players that's the first point I want to make what I really called then to to say is and I'm, I don't have to be right but that that play first play where he got nailed yep. that's the same thing that Jimmy got nailed right the right mm -hmm. side is that McGlifty because if so that's a problem, yeah. guys. The last thing I want to say is I'm enjoying the Cinderella story. Me too. But I'm with you, Vontae. I'm taking it week by week because right. I'm a person that has to see consistency over time. And as soon as he, as soon as Cinderella turns into the ugly duckling and has a bad game, this fan base is going to be talking a different tune. <laughs> and the same way that they're, they've uplifted Geno Smith, now people or the pundits and their fan base is talking about Geno Smith is showing us who he really is because he's regressing. That's the same thing that this fan base was going to do to that boy. And I'll bet you. Bye, you guys. All right, Robin. Hey, one thing I've learned this season, in all my years of doing radio and, and covering sports, is this year with the Niners, I, I just need to take it week by week. This The league in the NFL. Think about how many times, for example, Jared Goff in Detroit. Think about how many times people said he sucked. He wasn't an NFL caliber quarterback. Oh, look at Sean McVay move off from him. Now look at him. He's playing like one of the best quarterbacks in the league. And I'm rooting and for Detroit him. Detroit has a chance. Yeah. Now all of a sudden we're rooting for him, right? Yeah. We, we dumped Justin Fields, the first month of the season, people said this guy is not going to survive. He can't play. Mm -hmm. And now Justin Fields is playing hurt, and now he looks like an NFL quarterback. Basically, what I'm saying is, I got to take these things week by week. The the Mahomes, the Josh Allens, the Josh Allens, mm -hmm. the Justin, those are sure things. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know they're going to be around for a long, long time. Jelly Hurts looks like he's going to be along for a long, long time. Brady looks like he's going to be along for a long, long, long time. But if you're a second tier quarterback, you're a third tier quarterback. Things could happen so fast. Oh, of course, you could lose your job. You could throw five What's picks. It? The fan base could turn Russell on Wilson you. Russell Wilson just got so, a two hundred fifty million dollar extension, and he looks he looks terrible. <laughs> I mean, you know, terrible. like yeah, I'm with so, you on so, that. So, one thing I'm going to do with the 49ers moving forward, especially at the quarterback position, knowing how this fan base gravitates towards the quarterback position, knowing how this fan base mm -hmm. puts pressure on the quarterback position, I have no choice but to take this thing week by week. Which is a fair I don't know who's going to be the franchise it's quarterback. I just want to win games. And right now you have a defense mm -hmm. that's playing out of its mind. Over the last six games, this defense has given up 64 points. I'm just here to embrace it. Like, I, I just want to embrace it for what it is because, like, these things – next year is not guaranteed. You know, they got to pay right. a bunch of guys. Who knows what the roster is going to look like. Right now, you feel like you have as good of a chance as anyone to knock off what I believe to be the best team in the NFC, which is Philadelphia. Right? Because of the defense. Because of the team. Because of the weapons that they have, because I, of the defense. I'm looking at the defense. I'm looking it's at, not either to or. Me, to, to me, it's the whole to thing. To me, the defense is the headliner. And well, of course. Obviously, we love offense and quarterback sell tickets and all that stuff. But look at this defense. They've given up 64 but points. But why are you the, reluctant the, to embrace the offense? They're scoring. I am They're embracing the offense. I just they're told a top you. 10 Who's offense not embracing scoring? the offense? I'm embracing the offense. Shanahan has done a phenomenal job. job. I just said he does. He does. He, 
I told you last week, any coach in the NFC, I'm taking Shanahan. Okay. I'm not taking nobody over Shanahan. I said that last week in the NFC. I said the same damn thing about Garoppolo. But I'm looking at this defense, and I got a shot because For sure. of the defense. For sure. I don't have to put a lot of pressure on Brock Purdy. I don't have to put a lot of pressure on the offense. If they go three and out a couple times, yeah. it's not the end of the world. Like yesterday. Because his defense has given up 64 points in the last six games. Yep. They've given up 14 points in their last six second halves. Oh, they're elite. They've given up 10 points a game in the last six games. So I know I have a shot. Because the defense is playing at a high, high sure. level. So I don't have to put a lot of pressure on Brock Purdy. I don't need to ask him to say, hey, Brock, throw it 30 times a game. Throw it 21 times yesterday, and you're able to go out there and blow off fashion and beat the hell out the Bucks In like two quarters. <laughs> I mean, it was just so, crazy. So, so I am embr- I'm embracing the team. But the headliner is the defense, and I know I got a shot because of this defense. For sure. And I don't want that to be lost in the shuffle here No, because this the, defense has carried this team. I'm, I'm with you on that, but I also think that their offensive weaponry has been fantastic well, this year. You know, Ayuk's having a great year. Kittle is starting to emerge a little again, which is good. And then Christian McCaffrey's been outstanding. Well, and I feel like their blocking, their blocking up front has been spectacular. The McGlinchey thing... Come on, we all know he's good for a couple of right. really horrible blocks every single game. Like, there's just no right. other way. I saw him go to the tent. I don't know if he came back into the game. I wasn't paying attention. I, I saw him get his helmet taken off, and he went over to the blue tent. I don't know what's going on there. Well, the McCaffrey deal, 11 carries yesterday. Excuse me, 14 carries yesterday, 119 yards. That Tampa Bay defense is solid. Now, they're missing a couple safeties. Yeah. They got great linebackers in Levante David and Devin White. I didn't hear from them yesterday. All right, their pass rush never really got, never really got to Brock Purdy. Christian McCaffrey averaged eight point five yards a carry against that defense. <laughs> eight point five yards a carry. I thought he had a hurt knee. Tough, tough, tough yards. And so this is why the McCaffrey trade has flipped everything. <sighs> it's flipped totally. everything. They're six and one with McCaffrey. All right, first game you play the Chiefs, you get blown out in the second half. <clears throat> Hopefully you see Kansas City soon. Hopefully. That's the hope, right? Mm-hmm. Hope. And that's what Brock Purdy, believe it or not. But in these last six games, you see the difference McCaffrey makes in his yes. offense. Yes. The spacing he creates. Yes. You can line him up out wide. He's running fade routes down the field. He's running go routes, Texas routes, angle routes, option routes. You name it. This guy's running between the tackles, outside the tackles. He's creating one-on-one opportunities for Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel and George Kittle. This guy... If there's any difference in this offense, it's because of CMC. It's Chris McCaffrey. He's been incredible. There's no doubt about it. I think his impact on the quarterback play, forget who the quarterback is, undeniable, right? Yep. Especially on the check down stuff. I'm very worried to see what the offense looks like without Debo. I know you reference, hey, they've won games without Debo. They beat the Rams without Debo 31-14. And the Rams season was still there. It was. I don't know what this Seattle defense is. I know it's been leaking lately. I don't know what it is. I'm, I am a little worried because it's an opponent that you know very well. They know you very well. Without Debo, winning in Seattle has been tough. Just forever, it feels like. I don't know what it. I don't know what's gonna, what it's going to look like offensively. They might have to hang their hat on. Well, they're going to obviously to continue yep. to win games on the defense, but they might have to hang their hat on Mason and CMC carrying the load. It's all good. It's a short week. Seattle's vulnerable. They don't want the Niners to celebrate and pop champagne in that locker room at Lumen Field. They don't want them to be wearing tats and cheat shirts walking out of that stadium on a flight back to San Francisco. But damn, it'd feel good if they did. There's something funny, though. and I, I've seen this a lot where people are like, four-year starters, four-year starters. And look, there is something to be said about a four-year starter. But take a step back. Joe Burrow started for one year. Yeah. It was the greatest season we've yeah, ever seen. I, I, he was a backup at Ohio State, had to transfer, went to LSU, had one great year. It was one of the greatest years we've ever seen. But, like, everybody who watches football for a living will say, it doesn't matter that Joe Burrow only played one year. in the No, it's different. It's LSU. But everybody's I'm using, case is different. That's what I'm saying. And, so, every, it, and, I, and I get it. You like a four-year starter? That's you. I get that. I'm not denying it. But don't act like you can't be a one-year starter right. and be amazing. And don't act like four-year starters don't flame out in the league. How many years did Nathan Peterman start in college? Oh, I didn't even think that. I mean, Zach Wilson was a three-year starter? Three-year starter. Yeah, three-year starter. Uh, you know, so uh, it, what I'm getting at is talent can come from anywhere. Right, yeah, and, and you can't pick and choose when you want to apply yes, four-year starter to a quarterback. That's, now does I, it help for Brock Purdy? Hell Absolutely. Yeah, it does. It helps. It helps. He's undersized. He doesn't have the greatest arm, but it helped him. 
planted Iowa State. It'd be, you know what he's made up for? Like his de- look, the lack of arm strength is is undeniable. His ability to step into his throws and then look. get rid of it on time, it makes up for whatever. Look, at some point, the lack of arm strength, they, a team might be able right. to take advantage of that. And that's that's what makes Mahomes so special. That's what makes Josh Allen. But I don't think he needs to be that with this team. As much as I admit, Brock Purdy for the Iowa game last year where he threw four picks or three picks and he got benched. He did go into Texas the year before in Austin in a rainy game of with Brees Hall and win that game in Austin. You got to give him some props. See, but the whole argument about four year starter, three year starter, two year starter, we, we can't pick and choose when it works because we've seen both things happen. Uh, that, that's we, what we, that's yeah. what I was getting. You know what I'm at. That's, that's all we, I was we've getting. We've seen at. both things happen because Trevor I'm Lord, seeing that right. getting kicked around. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, guys. Like Joe Burrow literally was backing up everyone in Ohio right. State, left, and they made the wrong decision and left. Went to LSU, played for one year. Everybody was two want. years at LSU. Was, was it two? two Regardless, it wasn't four. The, the, the second year, Joe Brady, uh, Joe Brady comes in as the offense coordinator, and they flip it, and he's yeah. got all the weapons, and they're they're throwing the ball around the yard. He played well, but but to your point, you get what I'm saying. I, I get what you're saying. Um, let's go to George in the jungle. What's happening, George? You're on a roast, uh, gentlemen. It's a beautiful day. You're talking about four year starters. I bet Vegas is going to have a line on whether or not Archie Manning starts four years. <laughs> That's a great I point. I would take that bet. Yeah. I would take that bet. You know, the other thing is uh, special things happen to special people. Brady got the tuck. This kid yesterday, he was tackled on the first play of the game for a loss, and it turned the whole game around. The energy of that game shifted on one play. It's a great the very point. Beginning. It did. It was you know, a great play. The, you know, it's a twenty-five well, yard play. You, you you lose eight nine yards on a sack, and instead you get a fifteen yard penalty, and then boom, the, the whole drive gets kick started. You know, open up, and, and I heard rumors. You know, check me on this, but I heard that Brock Purdy turned to Trent Williams during the game and said, "Is John Candy in the stand?" No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here we go. Oh, my God. 49ers stew. 49ers stew in the stack. What's happening, 49ers stew? Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Good, what good. Hey, I got one question, first of all. Is our defense that good, or is Tom Brady depleting in his, uh, in his game? His defense is legit. What I want to say is uh, I've had season tickets for the last two years. I've it, never heard that stadium. It was a whole different stadium yesterday, man. That place was rocking. Feel me? Brody, Purdy, Purdy. It was wild. I it was a wild team. And, uh, Go ahead, go ahead, 49ers. I've never, seen, I've never seen a quarterback. Hey, Purdy did a James Hardaway crossover move on that <laughs> defender and got the ball out. And one last thing I want to say, whatever size shoe McCaffrey wears, I'm glad because if he wears one size short, smaller, that touchdown would have been <laughs> no touchdown. You had a one Kevin last t- question. Go ahead. When was the last time the 49ers played a game and didn't kick a field goal, man? Wow. Wow. So That's happy true. To go down there and didn't settle for three points. It was a chip, man. The whole stadium was just rocking, man. It, it was a whole different atmosphere. And it's pretty ironic because Joe Nedney was there at halftime. Dude, wait, time uh, out. Did you watch uh, the 40 yard field goal attempts? Yeah, that's too. Like, come on, 49ers. Nobody's to win 49 40. grand? Yeah, that, 40 yards. So they had, they had three, if you weren't there at the game, at the halftime, Joe yeah. Nedney comes out and they're going to kick from the 40 yard line. And it's three random fans, and they have one attempt, which is unfair, one attempt to try to win the 49000 And not one of these people even came close. I, I actually think our station should do this. I think we should try 40-yard field goal attempts from the hosts <laughs> and, and see if anybody can get close. I don't think I can do it. Do you? No. No chance. No chance. Did you play soccer growing up? No. No, no. I did. I, I, I wasn't the greatest. Yeah, I didn't even know not what soccer my sport. was. I did not like soccer and golf growing up. I didn't know. They weren't on television much. They were boring to me. I was football, baseball, basketball. Who do you think w- Who do you think would be able to kick a 40-yard field goal of all the hosts? Here? Yeah, from our station. Nobody. Nobody. No, not one person. Yep. Not one not even Guru. No. Want to help me Reggie no. Roby? Lay off. Guru may have the best chance. I'll give him that. He may have the best chance. I'm a snob. I kind of want to do this. I think I'm going to go to Crocker Park and try this out. Oh, you could have fun. Yeah. But is, he's right. When was the last time the Niners played a game and didn't have a no, field goal attempt? I can't even think about when it's the last time was. It's pretty wild. That is crazy. Oh, uh, man. I, a lot of people, I'm looking at the text line. What's that? Xfinity Mobile text line. By the way, shout out to YouTube, Twitch, the Xfinity Mobile text line. Download the Odyssey app, 95.7 game. 
Thousands of other stations and millions of podcasts are free on the Odyssey app. Sports talk, music, news, and podcasts are all available completely free. You can catch every single Warriors game live on the app along with all the music and news the Bay Area needs. Follow your favorite team, stations, radio shows, and podcasts now by downloading the free Odyssey app. Don't forget 957thegameshop.com. 957thegameshop.com. We've got some new gear for the Morty Roasters. 957thegameshop.com. You want to check that out. A lot of people were hitting me on Twitter and and I'm seeing it on the text line and YouTube. What's that? About Trey Lance's sideline demeanor. <laughs> now, I watched the game back, and every time I saw Brock Purdy go to the sideline, Trey was right there. Trey was right there with the iPad. Whenever I saw Brock Purdy go to the field to warm up and throw, Trey was right there next to him. So there's this, and I want to debunk this narrative what, right now. What narrative? That Trey was unhappy watching Brock Purdy succeed. Who said that? I, 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 I just said, Shasky. YouTube, oh, on Twitter, the YouTube chat, okay. My Twitter, yeah, everybody. I didn't, I didn't a lot see of people that. were coming out there yeah. with, with the sideline demeanor saying, "Hey, man, huh. Trey, I saw having a ball." So let's debunk this narrative that Trey wasn't happy. Trey's right there with Brock Purdy every step of the way, throwing on the field with them, catching the passes for him with the iPad, propping up teammates. I've seen nothing but Trey being a sportsman. Uh, being a great well, teammate why do we the whole to, time. I'm not saying you are, but w- I don't understand this. We have to crush Jimmy or Trey to to elevate Brock, or we have to you know crush Trey to elevate Jimmy or whatever it is. Like, can we just like I'm a Niner fan. I want to win the Super Bowl. It's been thirty something years. Right. I don't care who the quarterback is. If they're playing as well as Brock is, I'm gonna root for them, and I might chant their name at, at Levi Stadium. And whoever's on the sidelines, right. I, I'm, I'm, I would have think, being a 49er player, that they would be all in on it. I don't know right. why we have to do this yeah, thing. Yeah, no, I just want to debunk that. Yeah, Trey, that I saw nothing don't but... Don't do that, I saw people. Trey being a great teammate yeah, yesterday. Do I don't want to see... Because I'm getting a lot of tweets about it. I'm getting YouTube, text messages. Oh, man, you see Trey, you know Trey. So no, no, stop. Enjoy the moment. Trey's fine. He's there on the sideline with his teammates. Could have been a suite. I know quarterbacks who were in a suite huh, when they're hurt. And not even around the quarterback. So let's stop that. Let's get back out to the line. God, what a game. 888-957-9570. Let's go out to Rick and Stockton. Rick, what's happening? You're on a roast. What's up, Rick? Uh, yo, yo, yo. How y'all doing this morning? Hey, uh, I had to get into it, man. Hey, I was just listening to the Warriors game on the Yesterday, man, there's no doubt he looked very, very polished, looked very composed, he threw the ball really well. Brock Purdy Mania is here, folks. It's here. Let's go to and, Steve at Santa Rosa. And if you want to take a victory lap, by all means, do it. I, you whatever. were right. Like, he looks great. I'm, I'm happy for people that had faith in him. Steve at Santa Rosa, what's happening? Purdy Mania, brother. It's running wild. Yeah, that was uh, a lot of fun to watch, you know, and a, a guy that I don't really know anything about football it was just real fun to watch fun game to watch the one thing that i do see in football with quarterbacks is how well they convert third and long and i think every big play he made was off third and long i don't see jimmy doing that ever that's the the big thing i took away from that game so it was a lot of fun to watch. And I wanted to throw this in there because, you know, the Niners seem to find the good players. You got to give that to the mm-hmm. guys upstairs. Yep. The Giants, the Giants seem to be hurting in that time. Uh. But I got a suggestion. <laughs> I have a suggestion. Shamanaya. 
Mitch Hedinger. Jose, Jose in Oakland should be the new general manager. <laughs> that guy's the best caller about yeah. the Giants front office that I've ever heard. I vote for Jose to be the new GM, and he will pick up all the players the Giants need to return to World Series. Yeah, it's going to be a long time. All right, let me give you the Brock Purdy third down attempts over the last uh, two games. 15 of 17 in terms of his completions for 127 yards, seven and a half yards per attempt, two touchdowns, zero interceptions, nine first downs, 137 passer rating on third down. I mean, he's been outstanding on third down, Bonte. He's been really good. He's been really good. Third down, first down, second down, you name it. He comes in a Miami game and they got to have a game. They beat the Dolphins. And now they send the Dolphins on a tailspin. Then you get... Then you get Brock Purdy gets Tampa Bay, gets Tom Brady on the other sideline. <laughs> and everybody's crazy. hyping up his and that's the first time Brady has lost to a quarterback making his first start in the league. First time Brady's lost to a guy making his first start, which is insane. Shows how long Brady's been in the league. Unbelievable performance for Brock Purdy, but unbelievable performance. I mean, the difference maker to be again, quarterback's gonna get all the headlines. Quarterback's always gonna get the headlines. I get it. When the Niners lose, the quarterback's gonna get all the criticism. But to me, there's two things going on. What's that? One, the defense is humming at a high level. Absolutely. And they've given up 64 points in the last six games. They've given up 14 in the last uh, last six second halves. Deshaun defense, Gibson. Defense. Jimmy Ward was great yesterday, too. He was awesome. So the defense, and then Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. How much easier has Christian McCaffrey made Jimmy Garoppolo and Brock Purdy's life? How much easier? Because Christian McCaffrey can do so many things. Running between the tackles, running outside the tackles, lining up out wide, running go routes. Christian McCaffrey to me, like again, quarterback's going to get all the headlines. Yeah, yeah. But Christian McCaffrey's been the biggest difference maker on offense to me. Well, he has uh, a lot of ten yard runs in that game yesterday. I don't know how many was the was the with the total. Yeah, it's eight point five yards a pop. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Fourteen carries. That last touchdown where he cut to the outside and then stiff armed the dude and then kept distance. It was like, that was a put away. That was like 13 minutes to go yeah. in the third quarter. Yeah, well, game and was over. And it felt like game over. Game over. I mean, it's just that was an old school kind of a win. And you're right. Christian McCaffrey's been outstanding. It, it, I, I said this earlier, and I'll keep saying it. The outside blocking scheme, it feels like check did a great job. The wide receivers did a great job being physical. But he timed up his stop, mm-hmm. and they cut back, and then finds the little hole. He was so good yesterday. I feel like the offensive line, for the most part, played a pretty damn good yeah, game it was yesterday. Clean game. Clean game. Clean game, no doubt. Let's I know Purdy, to, help, uh, Purdy helped them with his pocket yeah. awareness and his ability to step up yep. when there was a little like jailbreak. Let's clear the deck here. Clear the yeah, deck. 888-957-9570. Anthony, Highway Ford, and we'll get to Jason and our main man, Duke. Uh, Anthony, what's happening? You're on the roast. Top of the morning, fellas. So I just had like one, two, one or two quick comments. Um, this just shows me that, man, people, for, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the experts, don't know what they'd be talking about because they put a uh, side by side, side by side mm-hmm. up there on the screen about what the uh, draft folks were saying about Rock. And you see him now, and he looks pretty good. And like I'm gonna tell you, week by week, like you said, because you never want to get too ahead of yourself. But I mean, you see some of these players that are um, that people you know write off real early, and then you see them they get to a good system or they just get a good coach around them, mm. and they seem to excel. You know, like right. Justin Fields, who people wrote off. No, and he yep. got drafted to a terrible situation. Mm-hmm. Like nobody wanted to get drafted to the Bears. It didn't no. get Jalen Hurts. All he really needed was someone to really coach him up. I'm excited about what's happening. I just uh, think that like we got to stop like writing these players off, man, because like they got they already got to the NFL for a reason. Like they're good enough to be there, but sometimes you get put in a terrible position. And Absolutely it about it. I mean, oh Alex God. Smith is the – Anthony, Alex Smith is one of the – you know, I mean, whether you think he was a great talent, a good talent, or mediocre talent, we all can agree. The setting helped elevate Alex Smith's career, right? Like having the right coaches, right. having the right playmakers. Like that was a make or break it for him. Baker Mayfield I'm looking at. Like when they had right. Um, the right cohesion around him, and I'm sure he bears some of the responsibility as well, he looked good. He broke the record for rookie touchdown passes that that first year with, with the Browns. Right. Things deteriorated. He goes to Carolina. He looked terrible. Then you're watching him with the Rams, and you're like, oh, boy, I don't know if I want McVay and Baker Mayfield linking up together. They look pretty good. No, man, look, Brock Purdy in the preseason, I did not believe the hype. I watched it. And I was like, no, stop. Let's stop it right now. If Brock Purdy's playing for this team, 
that means the season is over. I thought that too. You're right. <laughs> but I you did know too. what? I did too. Brock Purdy's playing right now. And all of a sudden, there's hope again. No, the season's not and, over. And, and, the yeah, season, season is not and, over. Matter of fact, there's people who believe he gives this team a better chance to hoist a Lombardi than number 10 and number 5. Let me ask you this. Take the names out. Was that one of the best halves of quarterback play this year? It was a really good half. It was a really good <laughs> I mean, half. Forget the names. I'm just really asking like, it, like, if you were going to say plus or negative plays. I, it's up there. I mean, you, you obviously referenced the Jimmy Garoppolo right. game uh, against the Rams. He played a great game right there. And I'm not diminishing right. Jimmy. I'm just saying, like, Perry Arizona. looked pretty good. He looked great against Arizona. Mexico That's a good City. point. That's a good point. Mexico City. He looked City. great against Arizona. Yeah, he did. You know? But but that that goes to show you how good Brock played yesterday. Yeah. It's not, I'm not trying to diminish Jimmy. Right. I'm saying, like, they're getting great output from the quarterback. Brian Greasy, someone's texting in right now, 650. Brian Greasy's been a great hire. Great hire. Rick Gangarello, get out of here as yeah, the quarterback no coach. Greasy has done a great job. Here, here's the other thing, too, about Shanahan coach teams. Yeah. Shanahan's teams get better and better. We, we discussed this in October. Can you make it to November around 500? Can you make it to December? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Humming. His teams, if you look at when they're humming, they get better and better when the season wears on. Why? Because they're physically built, right? They just wear on teams. They wear you down. They out hit teams. Tampa Bay got out hit yesterday. There were so many body bag hits yesterday. It was ridiculous. Tampa Bay did not want to be on that football field. They're like, damn, these dudes were hit. Wasn't that surprising? I was surprised. But then again, when you look at the situation, it's not to make an excuse yeah, well, for Tampa Bay. Short week, physical game Monday night against the Saints, the traveling back to the West Coast, tough stretch for them. Still, they got dominated. I overrated the Brady impact. I was thinking, like, there's just no way. In my mind, I'm thinking, right. there's no way Brady isn't going to play a good game against the no Niners. Doubt. That's what no I No doubt. And I was so wrong. He looked Look. so overwhelmed. Oh, he got And rattled. then all I kept seeing after every play, he's bitching and complaining to the referees yeah. and I'm like what are you complaining about yeah, well that's what Brady does I know but the you whole guys, game <laughs> that's what Brady, Brady's been doing that for 20 plus years B, I was telling does. Spadoni that when I was watching him it felt like I was watching a black and white video or right. film of old school guy yeah, like YA Tittle right. like this legend slowly walking out onto the field everything felt slow motion am I tripping he, well, he it was all motion because the 49ers defense is so fast. Yeah, uh, agreed. <laughs> but he looked old, <laughs> did he? Yeah, he did. Look, well, the Niners made him look. He's looked old all year. He's looked old all year for the most part. Yeah. They're 6-7. and seven. But this Niners defense, and under Shanahan, they get better in November. They get better in December. And now they're humming. <laughs> what were you thinking when they called back the Mike Evans 80-yard touchdown? <sighs> I was like, it's our day. Thank God. Because Vanga, day. right before the play. He's about, scrambling. Dude, you saw yelling to Jimmy Ward. And I was like, what Jimmy are they Ward, doing? And it was, it was a breakdown. And Mike, he hit Mike Evans in stride. I said, damn. And it was going to be 7-7. Seven, seven, <laughs> yeah. And I said, uh-oh. Yeah, we're in no some trouble. Oh, man. Tom Brady not getting calls. You hate to see that. Oh, He hasn't that's benefited our... from calls his whole career. How are you doing, Spinotti? You recover from last Thursday? You know, Shasky asked me at the end of the show, hey, how did the Raiders do yesterday? I, I like, totally you forgot. You know, they, they lost on Thursday to, yeah. to Baker uh, Mayfield. Yeah. Now you play the Patriots next week. Who cares? I hope they get smashed. I want Bryce Young. McCorkle! Jason, Duke, Freddie, we'll get to you on the other side, but now it's time for the injury report. It's time for the injury report. It really hurts. Brought to you by Boxer and Gerson, Northern California's premier workers' compensation law firm, helping injured workers get their lives back for over 40 years. What a performance yesterday. Brock Purdy, Christian McCaffrey, and that defense. Drake Greenlaw, 15 tackles and a pick. And he had Tom Brady sign the interception football after the game, which is pretty Crazy. cool. Drake Greenlaw, not only a pro bowler, he may get some all pro votes. I mean, him and Fred Water play some great, great linebacker. He right had now. an outfit on that I think would be funny to watch either one of us try to wear. Yeah, yeah Drake Greenlaw well, costs a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, that, that it may take a year. No, no it may cost you a hundred thousand dollars, and I don't I know don't, if we make that much money. I don't think I can afford. Uh, <laughs> got the win. Uh, <laughs> thanks to Brock, but man, a huge injury scare in the second quarter. Our main man, Debo Samuel, mm. went down after fumbling the ball, twisted his leg in the process, and as bad as the injury looked, he got cut it off the field. Shanahan said after the game that Debo suffered a high ankle sprain, which is best case scenario, though there was still a question on the extent of the sprain. Depending on the severity, Debo could be out anywhere from three to six weeks. The injury report brought to you by Boxer and Gerzer, Northern California's premier workers' compensation law firm, helping injured workers get their lives back for over 40 years. What's coming up on the game? Sponsored by Fremont Bank, full service banking, no compromises. More of your phone calls coming up, 888-957-9570. Is Purdy real? Is this a dream or is it real? Your call's coming up here on the roast. All aboard! All aboard!
the Purdy Express. Purdy going deep. He's got a man. Are you in? Touchdown, 49ers. Purdy over the middle again. He's got McLeod for a first down. And Purdy just keeps on firing. What's coming? Purdy lofting, going deep. Has McCaffrey. He's got it. Touchdown, San Francisco. We're reacting to Niners Bucks all day long. Wow. On 95.7 The Game. Let me guess. You've been staring at a shopping list since the day after Thanksgiving, telling yourself, I'll get to this next weekend. Well, guess what? Next weekend is Christmas. So your first stop, uh, uh, Flag and Anthem. You've heard me talk about Flag and Anthem before, but I seriously cannot say enough good things about them. It's Christian McCaffrey's go-to brand. Flannels, sweaters, jackets, and more. And it's quickly becoming my favorite brand, too. They even have a women's clothing line. So, you know, I copped Michelle some stuff, and they really can I can do all my shopping in one place. Head over to flagandanthem.com and use the code GAME, G-A-M-E, for 25% off your purchase. And be sure to place these orders by December 19th. Come on, people, for guaranteed holiday delivery. Flag and Anthem, premium clothes without the premium price tag. Life doesn't stop when the economy is uncertain. The market might not care you have a wedding to plan or a kid to put through school. And inflation doesn't know you've got a family to feed. But Bank of America does and is here to help. With digital tools to help you save and local experts in the Bay Area, you can keep life moving forward the way you need it to. Bank of America, what would you like the power to do? Learn more at bofa.com slash San Francisco. Bank of America NA, member FDIC, equal credit opportunity lender. Kirby is your driveway mechanic. They bring the shop to you with brake replacements, oil changes, washes, and so much more. Get $50 off your first oil change with code OIL50 at Kirby.com. That's C-U-R-B-E-E.com and use code OIL50. Universal Studios Hollywood is where the holidays come together. We've tested it. Festive food with refreshing Coca-Cola. Family, friends, and fa-la-la. Dazzling lights cranked up to maximum merriness. The Grinch and his dog, Max, stealing your tree. All the science adds up. It's the awesomest celebration of the season. Save $20 on a Coca-Cola two-day general admission ticket. Offer ends 12-14-22. Restrictions apply. Details at UniversalStudiosHollywood.com slash Coke offer. If you own a business, this has been a bumpy ride. From pandemic to inflation, I'm sure you could use a break. If your business has five or more employees and survived COVID, you might be eligible to receive a payroll tax refund of up to $26,000 per employee. The challenge is getting your hands on it. Hi, I'm I'm Howard Mackler, and that's why I founded GetRefunds.com to cut through the red tape and get you the money. The team of tax attorneys we have put together are highly trained in this little-known payroll tax refund program. We do all the work, charge not a dime up front, and simply share a percentage of the cash that we get for you. Businesses of all types can qualify, including those that took PPP, nonprofits, and even those that increases in sales. We have helped return over a billion dollars to businesses, and we can help you too. Just go to GetRefunds.com slash sports, click on Qualify Me, and answer a few questions. This payroll tax refund is only available for a limited period of time. Don't lose out on up to $26,000 per employee. Go to GetRefunds.com slash sports. That's GetRefunds.com slash sports. AT&T Fiber presents a straightforward moment inspired by straightforward pricing. And now we just cube the pen check off as so what's on the menu tonight? This carbonara I found online is fire. You're going to love it, Mom. I hope you hold on to this AT&T fiber, son. It's nice. Yeah, you should settle down now that you're a good gillionaire. Oh, I am. I finally found the one internet I've been looking for my whole life. So no more one-year stands? No, nah, I'm done with all that. With AT&T fiber, there's no price increase at 12 months. Uh, what about equipment fees? Nope. Those were never any good for you. Exactly. But now, everything's completely straightforward. Well, in the spirit of being straightforward, I never liked any of your old ones. Me neither. Blah. Y'all never told me that. But we're being straightforward now, which feels good, yeah? Yeah. Now let's get straightforward about that girl he's been seeing. Straightforward is better. No equipment fees, no data caps, no price increase at 12 months. Live like a gagillionaire with AT&T Fiber. Limited availability in select areas. Visit att.com slash hypergig for details. At Outdoor Supply Hardware, to give is to receive. December 6th through Christmas Eve, get a free $10 gift card with every $50 gift card purchased. Limit four per household. Osh gift cards never expire. Great gifts are in the cards at all 14 Osh stores. 
When you need to know what's happening, it's 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 time to get it. in the huddle. You're fraudulent. You're not in the business of winning football games. You're in the business of trying to prove your own asinine decisions correct. We can talk about, talk about the Ursay thing. Do I think the Saturday thing is the biggest joke in the history of the NFL? I do. But at least he was willing to say, this ain't working for me. I don't care that I just gave him extensions. Listen to In the Huddle, available on the Aussie app or wherever you get your podcast. Hi, I'm your Annie's PTO. It's almost the end of the year, and if you don't put me on a timesheet, I will be gone forever. Use me or lose me. Let's get away. It's getaway time. Get our best deals of the season on a new Hyundai. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Now get 0% APR, zero payments for 90 days, and 500 bonus cash on select vehicles. Hurry to your local Hyundai dealer. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Offer ends 1323. Call 1562 314 4603 for complete offer details. Do you know what people see when they Google you? Search engines don't always get it right. And when they're wrong, it's your reputation on the line. So what do you do when you don't agree with your search results? Call Reputation Defender at 800-831-0771. Reputation Defender by Norton is one of the most trusted names in online reputation repair. We have over a decade of experience in fixing people's search results, and we can help you too. Using cutting-edge approaches, Reputation Defender pushes unflattering information down to lower pages of your search results, where few people ever look. We also promote the good stuff so that it rises to the top, letting you put your best foot forward. Your good name is too valuable to leave to the whims of a Google algorithm. You owe it to yourself to take control with Reputation Defender. Visit www.reputationdefender.com or call 800-831-0771 for free advice on your situation. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. You're listening to 95.7 The Game, KGMC FM at HD1 San Francisco. Always live on the free Odyssey app. It's time to wake up with a nice cup of morning roast. Featuring the Billmore's finest, Monte Hill. The pride of the Excelsior, Joe Butcher Boy Shasky. You're listening to 95.7 The Game, the morning rush. Four-man rush. Purdy loaded up, going deep. He's got a man. Ayuk in! Touchdown, 49ers! Are you kidding? Well, so much for playing for a field goal. They went double move on the outside with Brandon Ayuk. Brock Purdy gave a huge pump fake, and Ayuk just ran right by him. Oh, baby! Or should I give you the... Oh! The Niners have won their sixth game in a row. Brock Purdy mania is real. Spadoni, hit me with the Purdy chance because this moment, this moment had my jaw dropped. Me too. It had my jaw dropped. The Purdy chance. They're chanting Purdy, by the way. Brock Purdy chance in Santa Clara. I feel like I'm in a scene of Rudy. <laughs> Greg Olson and Kevin Burkhardt on the call. It was louder. It was louder. In it my, was louder. It, okay, so yeah, because in, in my section, it was way louder well, than that. No, and, it was, and I want it, like, for the people that weren't there, I'm glad the television right. picked it up. It was, it was loud. loud. It was deafening. Yes. It was deafening last night, or yesterday, I should say. Purdy chance, the defense flying around the football, hitting Brady. The running <laughs> game, Christian McCaffrey, 14 carries, 119 yards. Christian McCaffrey averaged four, eight point. Five yards a carry yesterday. This team is humming right now. And guess what, folks? As we say, good morning to everybody out there getting off of work. Good morning to all the grave sh- graveyard shift workers, big rig drivers, truck drivers. Shout out to all the high schools who played their state championships. I know it all didn't go your way, but San Ramon Valley, I want to shout them out. Shout out to McClymans. Shout out to De La Salle. Shout out to Sarah High School. Yeah. Shout out to Pittsburgh High. Shout out to San Marin. Great job this season. Congratulations on the spectacular season. Even Bellerman, they lost in heartbreaking fashion. Shout out to Bellerman. Shout out to College of San Mateo, who won a state championship in JUCO. OG, what's happening? Coach Pert, Coach Hardy, what's happening? K Booth, what's happening? Another one to call the show and bombard him. Told him the numbers block for the 650, but I'm kidding. Shout out to San Mateo, even though I'm a city guy. Um, history in 49ers, man. What a performance. What a performance all around. Defense hit. <laughs> Brock Purdy. I mean, Shanahan is in his bag. And Thursday, Shasky, is a hat and t-shirt game. 
Explain to people that don't know what a hat and t-shirt game is. A hat and t-shirt game is when you go in there and kick Seattle's ass, you open up the boxes. There's all these t-shirts and hats, and it says 2022 NFC West champs. Given everything that's happened this year, I don't want to rank the seasons or whatever, but this is clearly the most adversity they've overcome under the Shanahan era, right? Like, B, they've lost so Last many. year felt like, but no, you I know, hear that's you. That's not bad. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, you're no. Right. But you know, you know what, though? It's been because you lost Trey Lance in week two. <laughs> you didn't know if Jimmy was going to be on the football team. Did you lose Jimmy? And you have to turn the page to a guy who was the last pick <laughs> in saying. the NFL draft. Not a sixth round pick, not a fifth round pick, not a fourth, third, second, first round pick. The last pick of the NFL draft. Two you're just saying, two. hey, here's the keys to the <laughs> operation. Crazy. We need you not it's to crazy. wreck the car. And then you lose Armstead, who's one of your highest paid defensive players, he's, he's for what, well. seven weeks? Yeah, and he's playing well. He's playing really well. He's playing really you well. You lose Mosley for the year, okay? Yeah, we, and you haven't even skipped Diablo Lenore. I, it, uh, I don't, sh- you don't even miss. <laughs> don't even. And I don't mean, even. Mosley's my guy. Don't even. I know, but don't even. Gibson's out here making turnovers. Yep. By the way, no one got more tired during the return than Gibson. Yeah, yeah. I got Gibson. tired for him. I was like, go out of battles, doggy. It's one of those underrated sightings. He may only be here for a year, but it's a very underrated sign. He's signing. been great. He's been awesome. And then Jimmy Ward, I know he doesn't want to play the slot. He's played great and in the he's slot. Hit, and he's hitting. So, like, and I, he's talking. it's not perfect, okay? I'm not here. To, they made a midseason trade that's just, like, jolted the entire offense. They've done a phenomenal job. They've got oh, two, basically two rookies playing the guard positions. Now, I know what's-his-face got hurt, and so they've had oh, yeah, Brunskill so you got, in there. You got Burford and Banks. The offensive line was a big question mark. Well, now we live with McGlinchey and, doing what he does, but Burford's been good. Uh, how about the center, been good. the center? Yeah, Jake Brendel. Aaron Banks has been. I mean, People sh- are ready to ship Aaron Banks out of town. B, <laughs> what I'm getting at is that he might have had finer coaching jobs top to bottom. Right. In terms of overcoming adversity, the fact this team has nine wins, they're not going to have a losing season this year. They have an opportunity to win the NFC West. And have a home playoff game for and the first time since Shanahan, 2019. Shanahan deserves so much credit this morning. This guy, well, and then you saw the photo that was circulating over the internet John, last night. Kyle Shanahan sitting next to Brock Purdy after the game. It's hard to not get the feelings when I you know, see that. Come on, B. That was, that was wild. If Shanahan can see the cameras. He was looking up Shanahan, dude. Shanahan's, Shanahan's final moment. We'll play some sound because we haven't played any sound from Shanahan and Brock Purdy last night. We'll do that this yes, hour. Yes. We promise. We just wanted the callers to talk it's in. It's about them. We, we, it's about them. It's about the fans. It's about living in this moment as the 49ers improved to 9-4. and four. They've won six straight games. Six straight games. They've outscored their opponents during a six-game winning streak. 172 to 64. <laughs> That's an average score of 28.6 points per game. As opposed to 10.6 points per game. They outscored their opponents during the six-game winning streak by 18 points per game. Not only that, the defense has only allowed 14 points it's in the second half during the six-game winning streak. I know there's the no-name defense of the Steelers, and, and they become the no-name because they won Super Bowls, yep. right? The Steel yep. Curtain. And there's a lot of different things that have been out there over the years. This isn't a no-name defense, but my God, B., this is a bend, don't break D that is well, perfect for the modern NFL. Dude, the Greenlaw, 15 tackles. <laughs> He's right. so sick. Interception, athletic freak. Warner's <laughs> flying around Floyd, late, you, coming in, blasting dudes. Hufanga, Hufanga blasted Godwin, and thank God they picked up the flag on that one. Thank you. He clocked Chris Godwin. That was I mean, sick. he rocked him. Godwin's a shell of himself. Yeah, he rocked him. Well, he didn't want to go in the middle after that one. No. He was done with that. But I'm just saying, like, all year he hasn't been the coming same Coming off the ACL, yeah. man, it's tough, dude. It's tough. I know. I was watching Jadavius White at corner yesterday for Buffalo. I was a little worried for him. Now, Buffalo wins a game. They're, they're coming to AFC. Worry about them later. Godwin was, he tapped out of that one. Uh, Fredette. Leonard Fredette got popped a couple times. I was surprised he was playing. Yeah, I mean, he played. He's a physical freak, but Vita Vale was nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. Well, they did a great Quiet. job getting rid of the ball quickly. And they ran the ball. Yeah. So Shanahan is doing his thing. And then you also have to give John Lynch credit. You have to give John Lynch his flowers, no matter what, to pull that deal for Christian McCaffrey. <laughs> Ballsy. It turned the season around. Now, that first game, they lose to Kansas City, all right, but we saw the flashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see the Rams game at SoFi Stadium going into the bye week to improve to 4-4? Four and four. It was a big point for them, a big turning yeah. point. And you saw the difference Christian McCaffrey could make. 
to pull that deal off. Now, we sitting here on Sports Talk Radio. We always throw out deals. Hey, we want this guy. We want that guy. We yeah. want this guy. We want that guy. Hell, we didn't know the money was going to work. We didn't know if the picks would work. We just threw it out there. Hey, Christian McCaffrey, give me a home run hitter at running back. Give me a home run hitter at running back. And they swung the deal. That tilted the balance in the NFC West. Absolutely. Well, and and it ended the Rams season. It ended the Rams season. I mean, well, it ended in the Cardinals season. Ended the Cardinals season. I mean, he's been he's been spectacular for this team, and I think the majority of Niner fans are like, "Oh, he's better than I thought." I knew yeah. he was good. He's better than I thought. He's better. And now you get to see him in the playoffs, right? Like, hopefully, hopefully, I don't want to, I don't want to jinx ourselves. Yeah. Hopefully, see him in the playoffs, and it be if they can. And I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. We got all week. If they can win this Thursday game, they've built up some cushion to where if there are guys that are like – like Bosa's the right. hamstrings and the groins. If you got to, just rest up, Big Bear. Rest up. And I want to give a shout-out to Levi Stadium. Yeah. The amount of replays they showed yesterday was finally – Amazing. Yeah. I was bl- They showed a face mask replay. Oh, yeah, they show everything. Then they showed love- the 8K. The 8K uh- zoom in is unbelievable. Why can't we get that on television? The, the McCaffrey zoom in <laughs> on the camera? Yeah. Mandatory. Every game <laughs> needs to have that. That referee, whoever that was, I forget his name. He's terrible. I, he's one of my favorite. But how refs. did you review it, overturn it, and then review Brad, your review that you reviewed, and Brad, then overturn it again? Brad Allen. It always loved the official numbers. Yeah. Brad Allen wears 122. <laughs> yeah, he stinks. <laughs> he's a little guy. Brad Allen is his name. Wearing 122. Yeah, Sarah Thomas, the down judge, wearing number 53. These numbers are funny. B, it's just B, so random. B, <laughs> if, if Disney came to you right now and they were like, you know what, we want to we want to do an NFL style movie. All right, we're gonna have Mr. Irrelevant. That the title of the movie is Mr. Relevant. All right, he's gonna be the last pick. You're gonna have this guy that they traded three picks for. He's gonna go down. Then the guy that the fan base really loves, but you know he's had opportunities, but he can't get over the hump. But but he's playing his best ball. He's gonna come in. Then he's gonna go down. Right, like any given Sunday, a lot of people thought that yeah. was unbelievable. Yeah, no, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Javon Kinlaw is he ever coming back? Because if he does, you could you could use him. Well, with Givens going Gibbs, down, yeah, yeah he you was could on use the card. He got carted off. I know. And then so, Debo goes down yesterday, and my heart and, sank for him. We haven't even talked about that. And quietly, uh, Brock had an oblique injury. Here's what Shanahan had to say. About oh that. no. I mean, I wouldn't say it doesn't. You never know how those act up. I mean, he was able to finish the game today and stuff, but we got to see when he comes in tomorrow, you know, when the adrenaline wears off and things like that. So hopefully Brock is okay because then it'll be Josh Johnson time. But what did... Uh, Wearing number 17? What, yeah. Did you see, did you that? see that? I did. I, I did. I, I, outside of, uh, there's a couple guys that have worn 17, um, but I was thinking Braylon Edwards for a, a very brief moment very in time. Brief moment. You know, wasn't there a Moore? Didn't we have a a, a Moore who wore seventeen at one point? Moore? Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're maybe right. I don't remember too many seventeens with the forty nine. I know. Here's what Shanahan, Keep going. Shanahan had to say about Brock's performance yesterday. He's played a lot of football in college, and he just got to play his first NFL game last week, and then he did the same stuff today. I mean, he's he, he reacts and runs around and makes some plays, and that's how he was in college, and that's how he's been so far and in the league. And when you do that, it's how many good plays can you make without making the bad ones, and he's done that really well so far. And then here's Nick Bosa on what impressed him uh, about Yeah, Mark give Hardy. it to me. Each time he scored, he waited. He waited on the sideline. Like, usually they go back and look at – the iPad or whatever, talk to their coaches. He waited for the extra point and then congratulated all the linemen each time. <laughs> so, I mean, the kid's awesome. Uh, I saw the video of his dad crying, which was really cool. <laughs> Don't get too excited here, Bose. <laughs> One more time, man. He's the best. One more time. I love each him. Each time he scored, he waited. He waited on the sideline. <laughs> like, usually they go back and look at the iPad or whatever, or talk to their coaches. He waited for the extra point and then congratulated all the linemen each time. So, I mean, the kid's awesome. Uh, I saw the video of his dad crying, which was really cool. You know, they say don't judge a book by its cover. I still can't get uh, over that he's a big-time reader. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. It Why? It doesn't. He's kind of – I again, I – a couple of years ago, when I saw him at the Super Bowl in Miami, we're, we're I was we were back here in San Francisco, but we're watching the clips. Yeah, we need date. He's telling. Yeah, I was you know, sad right we didn't before, go to Miami. Yeah, don't even get me started on that Glendale. If it happens, look out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nick Posa, <laughs> when he was, it was right before the pandemic. And remember the Asia reporter said, "Hey man, there's this thing, this COVID oh, thing yeah. going on. Wash your hands. What, can you just tell people to try to wash it? Yeah, hey, 
Wash your hands. If it's Spinoza, if you could pull that clip, Calve loved the, playing that. Yeah, if Spinoza, if you could find that, uh, right then and there, I said I got Clay Thompson vibes. Oh, I got Clay Thompson vibes. Clay Thompson, he reads a lot. Yeah, he's got the paper airplanes. Yeah. He's kind of just in his own world. Hi, Clay Thompson. Hi, Clay Thompson. Cannon Curry. Yeah, that, that was, was pretty great. cool. That was great. I get the same vibes from Nick Bosa. Yeah, he's kind of in his own world. Yeah, man. You know, he's standing on the sideline. He's giving the. Special teams are high five after the extra point, and he usually looks at the eye. Um, to all my Chinese friends out there, um, wash your hands and stay clean because there's a virus going around. And uh, just hang in there. Enjoy, enjoy the Super Bowl. <laughs> Three months know. prior to the pandemic. No, little did we know. That was two weeks prior. Yeah, oh, my little goodness. Little did we know. Two, yeah, that was February. Wash your hands. Oh, my God. Dude, uh, by the way, number 17. Oh, I've got, got a list. I've got the whole list. I've got the list, too. Okay. Travis Benjamin. Oh, yeah. Travis Benjamin. Victor Bolden. Victor Bolden. <laughs> Mike Caldwell. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jeremy Cole. Curley. I figured Steve DeBerg. Yeah, DeBerg. Uh, yeah. Because he also wore 17 yeah. in Kansas was City. Was Braylon a 17? Braylon was a 17. I'm not even going to try to... And that's he ate this day. Was A.J. Jenkins him. 17? A.J. Jenkins was 17. Okay. Josh Johnson, Jeremy Curley. Jeremy 17. Curley, leading receiver 2016. How about Billy Kilmer? Kilmer back in 61 Oh, yeah, that's way back when. Yeah, wide receiver. Brendan Williams, Malik Turner. Tighter. Malik Turner last oh, year. Oh, yeah. Chris Winky. Chris Winky. That two games he started under Singletary. Dominic Ziegler. Oh. And, of course, how do we forget? Dominic Ziegler, the wide receiver. How do we forget about Emmanuel Sanders and Tajay Sharp? Oh, yeah, Sharp. Emmanuel Sanders. Tajay huh? Sharp was on this roster for a couple for a cup of coffee. Tajay Sharp. It was like a sip. Yeah. God, Nick Bosa is so good. Uh, His defense is so good. so good. Let's get to the call, Shasky. Yeah. Duke in the city. Duke, what's happening? You're in the roast. It's right off the rip, man. We ain't worried about stumbles and fumbles and bumbles. I just went home and ate Louisiana Brumble. Ask Coog, Nutshelsky, and Ballhead Rick. I'm from Lakeview to Turf. My blood is thick. Niner bells, Niner bells, Niners all the way. Oh, what fun what it is to ride when you got that Niner pride. Hey, Nick Bosa <laughs> coming through, sacking all the way. Scoop up that fumble, run it back. We in the end zone now, let's play. Kiddos beat you there. Brock Purdy ain't no square. Niners in this playoff hunt. Contest us if you dare. Happy holidays to everybody at YouTube, Twitch, and 95.7 The Game. I love all y'all. Man. Dude, you're the man. All right, Pete Kuzna. You're the man. The Duke. Rebel. You're the man, dude. I love Lakeview. You're the man, dude. Yeah, we do love Lakeview. Lakeview's so underrated. Come on, man. The in motion view. Come on. Coming through Lakeview. You and LV? You and LV, baby. The running Rebel Cup. You LV. Look at you laughing. Ocean View Park. Uh, Midnight League at Ocean View yeah, Park. Remember look that? At you. Like, uh, Freddie in Daly City. Freddie, what's happening? Duke is the goat. <laughs> hey, good morning, fellas. Thank you guys so much for taking my call. Anytime, Freddie. What, what you up? got? Hey, I just want to let you guys know, man, Purdy, that guy is amazing. Like, I couldn't believe how he was playing. I went to the game yesterday. I took my best friend. Uh, shout out to Daily City Football League. But uh, nice. just seeing him live, seeing him play, he had the best first half. The dude's off the chart. Last week, he ate dolphin. This week, he ate goat. This Thursday, he's going to eat bird. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I can't wait. Let's go. He's a hunter gatherer. I can't wait. Let's go. I can't wait. I can't wait. Can't wait for Thursday. <clears throat> the end Seattle season. Because right now they're on the they're outside the playoffs looking in. I mean, yes, but B to also like it's gonna be Pete Carroll, the old defensive gunslinger against the rook. This is like all I'm telling you, this is a Disney story. You just, you just know, get you know on. what the Niners are wearing, right? Tell me they're wearing their all whites. The all white throwbacks. Are they? Yeah, Thursday. The all white throws. They're they're wearing the all white throwbacks. All I need is for Guru not to bet on this game. Just don't bet on this game. I hope Guru's- Seahawks are in the neon green. I do too. I actually like those jerseys. Really? I do. I was being totally kidding. No, those I'm are the dead worst serious. Guru's ever seen been hot. Right? I like them. Hasn't Guru been hot betting? No, I just want him to stay away from this game. Uh, he will bet. I'm, I'm just begging him to not himself. don't bet on this game. Lay off. He no, I don't. Himself. It's not a hate. I don't want. I because if I don't want him to go against my lay team, off of my time and I don't want him to root for my. I just just bay off this one. Can't help. He probably bet the Cowboys yesterday to cover the 17. I will say this: it. I am getting caught up in Purdy Mania. To, to I know Jimmy you are. Oh, I know stuff. you are. You're I, holding I back. Oh, I know you are. I am holding back. I know you are. 
You know it's what? Okay. It's okay. It's okay. You got caught up in Mer- you got caught up in uh, Mullins Mania and it was fine. Yeah, but this feels put, way more real. You got caught up in Better Mania and it was fine. This feels way more real. I mean, this fool went from <laughs> Clark okay. Kent. He spun around in the phone it's, booth, it's came okay. out, and he's playing like Superman. I, I, I'm so- B, I, you saw the video B, I posted yesterday. B, the throw to Christian my, McCaffrey. My tell me you dropped. didn't. Tell me you, when he made that throw to Christian McCaffrey. Tell me you didn't go. Oh so, my god! This is a litmus test on how Purdy sweeping. My jaw up. dropped. Oh yeah, my. Purdy mania is real because when I FaceTime my mom yesterday. What'd she say? She goes, oh, how about that quarterback? That's a great quarterback, Bonte. <laughs> I watched that whole game. She goes, you know me. I know quarterbacks. Not, not really, mom. But she goes, that's a great quarterback. She's never said that about Jimmy. She never said that Becky about Trey. Becky Tindall's breakdowns? Becky Tindall's breakdowns. She said, that's a great quarterback. Boy, I tell you. I said, mom, stop. Okay. It's one game. So then... We go to Big Mouth, Big Mouth Burgers after the game. San Bruno. Shout out to Big Mouth Burgers. It we go there to pick up. It is cracking, right? It's I, definitely I've been getting bomb. a blue cheeseburger. It's good. There's this lady, older white lady. She's older lady. I don't know she her name, her, but she I knows know my name. name. She didn't know my name. I was in and out. She had her Niner sweater on. I said, boy, how about them Niners? She goes, yeah. <laughs> and she sit through the lemonade. She goes, that quarterback's pretty good, man. I tell you, that quarterback's pretty good. I'm telling you. I said, damn. Bonte. It's so, happening. So I text, I text Baldy, and I go, Baldy? You were there. I can't believe what I saw. This is his response. He is an advanced student. Yeah. Hard for anyone in their first ever start to play better. Yeah. I mean, that that, Baldi, that summarizes my feelings. Yeah, Baldy Baldy sent me a couple videos and he said, Poise beyond belief, one perfect read, decision throw after another. Who knew? Well, Baldy knew. And a lot of people knew. A lot of people knew. I didn't. I was wrong. Now I don't know how sustainable it is, but we'll see. <sighs> Let's see. Well, you know, somebody, I, I had no problem admitting wrong. We got to drop saying I'm wrong all the time, right? I, I got no problem being wrong. But some of y'all out there, won't you keep the receipts when we do win? Do we get points for winning? I'm wrong all the time. <laughs> Ponte, Ponte, I'm married. I'm never right, okay? I've learned long ago uh, I will never get a, you know, Joe, you were right. That doesn't happen when you're a married man. You know this. Where's the age of your choice? Exactly. <laughs> like, Where's the A.J. Peterson drop when Brock Purdy threw that pass to Christian <laughs> McCurvey? When I seen him throw that ball, let's go to Adam in the city. Adam, what's happening? You're on the morning roast here on 8570 game. Adam! Morning, guys. Happy Victory Monday. Happy wow. Victory Monday. Um, just the one thing I wanted to highlight out of everything that was impressive about that, about, his, about Purdy's game yesterday, the one play where I'm like, and I'm not here to knock on Jimmy. I'm just not. Like, he, he gave his heart to the team. He gave his body, whatever. That play where it was a rollout and the defender had Purdy stacked. Yep, that yep, little jump yep. back move, fired that pass to D-ball. I'm like, he's got it. Like, Jimmy Garoppolo on that play probably takes a 10-yard stack on that play. He just does. But, yep. like, his mobility in the pocket and his pocket awareness, his toughness to take hits and deliver passes, like, this is a writing for a movie, but like like you said, week by week, let's take it by time. But, I mean, this kid is impressive. He's humble. If you saw that air, uh, interview with Aaron Andrews after the game, I mean, the kid just, he's like, I have good supporting teammates. My The leaders on our team are, are, are you know, making me play good. Like, it's all the things that you want to hear out of a quarterback, and I, I'm just impressed as hell by this guy. Very I'm, impressive. So is Christian McCaffrey. Oh, what did he say? Was he wearing flag this? and anthem after the game? Yes, he was. Uh, I don't know if he was. Yeah, he was. He's an impressive guy. It's fun to be around. I think to play quarterback in this league, you have to be very intelligent. I think that's one of the biggest things that I've learned playing in you know, my sixth year now. And for a rookie to come in and process this offense and do everything by the book, but then add his own flair to it is very impressive. So uh, I'm excited for him. I'm excited to keep playing with him. And, you know, I, lo- I love that guy. He's, he's, you know, I've seen the work when I first got here. I think I said this earlier in the week, but he was, he was the guy calling all the plays for me when I was walking through by myself trying to learn the offense. So it's a testament to him and the work that he's put in. You know, Fred Warner said something very interesting last week about Brock Purdy. He said, you know, somebody asked Fred Warner, you know, is he going to be up to speed? Is he going to be able to compete against number one defenses? If Fred Warner say, yeah, he's been going against us all year long. We're the best defense in the NFL. <laughs> and I hadn't thought about that. I really didn't. Running a scout team, calling the plays against the scout team. He goes, we move out of, we're fast and furious. You know what I'm saying? Windows are closing quick. And he's going against us every single week, which is something that may have flown under the radar last week. Well, and I just, you know, you hear that stuff all the time. And you're like, is it coach speak? 
Is it just a teammate bigging up a teammate? Well, no, that was one of my takeaways watching Trey go up against the first right. team in the training camp. And I said to Sam, like, they were like, it would be a play, simple play. I'm like, no one's open. There's nowhere to go with the ball. Bosa would have had a sack. Like, I said that over and over right. and over. And everyone's like, Trey doesn't look right. I'm like, dude, this defense is ridiculous. Right. And that was with uh, Emmanuel Mosley. Right. And at the time, Debo wasn't even signed, so he wasn't right. playing with the first string. Yep. So it was even more constipated. And no, and no CMC. No, 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 no CMC at all. So, so, But, like, I saw that. And so, yeah, to your point, I hadn't thought about it. But right. they're right. They're right. Because when I watched Trey go up against the first team defense, they couldn't move the ball. Yep. They just couldn't do it. Yep. By the way, four on five, uh, CSM, CSM Bulldogs, College Cemetery. Yes, we gave them their props. State champs, maybe national champs. The and first Lincoln time they've High. ever, they've, the first time they've ever won a state championship. Lincoln High blowing out Crenshaw yeah. for a state championship. Shout out to Lincoln High School. Even though I'm an Eagle, shout out to Coach Ferrino and the rest of the crew. Andre Walker, all you guys, JoJo, coach of the offensive line. Great, great high school football. I was watching a lot of high school football this weekend. Man. When, I'm a nerd. When did you think that Garcia was? Good. Like, how long did it take for you on Jeff Garcia? Because he came out of nowhere. Uh, I think it was the Tennessee Titans game at Candlestick Park. Okay. They played the Titans, and I want to say they beat them. Okay. And I was like, huh, maybe this guy has a little bit of something. Maybe this guy has something here. By the way, we have a Brock Purdy update coming up on the other side. Uh oh. We'll give that update. Brock Purdy update coming up on the morning roster on 957 the game. Plus the rest of your phone calls. Line them back up. 888-957-9570. We'll continue to wrap on yesterday's win. Plus this Brock Purdy update. It's getting the MRI. When temperatures drop, COVID-19 cases may rise. So if you test positive and are at high risk, act fast, even if your symptoms feel mild. Ask your provider if an authorized oral treatment could be right for you. Visit TreatCOVID19.com. Sponsored by Pfizer. Can you smell what the Brock is cooking? It's Brock Purdy's show, making his NFL starting debut, and he's back to pass. Pressure coming, steps away, looking to run, and he walks it in for the touchdown. I want to Brock and roll all night. Purdy makes a swim move, and by Debo Samuel, are you kidding me? What a play, and the crowd loves it from Brock Purdy. All aboard. The Purdy Express, right here on 95.7 The Game. Cash Creek Casino Resort is the place for the biggest names and the very best in live entertainment. On January 22nd, don't miss the multi-talented actress and singer Tsai Chin. Then be there on January 28th when the legends of Motown take the stage. This is your time to cash in at Cash Creek Casino Resort. Find tickets and see our full lineup at CashCreek.com. Universal Studios Hollywood is where the holidays come together. We've tested it. Festive food with refreshing Coca-Cola. Family, friends, and fa-la-la. Dazzling lights cranked up to maximum merriment. The Grinch and his dog, Max, stealing your tree. All the science adds up. It's the awesomest celebration of the season. Save $20 on a Coca-Cola two-day general admission ticket. Offer ends 12-14-22. Restrictions apply. Details at UniversalStudiosHollywood.com slash Coke Offer. Someday, you might be with friends in the Bay Area telling the story of how you navigated these complex times. The market was all over the place, so you reached out to a Merrill advisor and with their help, charged ahead. And unlike your fishing stories, <laughs> You won't have to go overboard. Find an advisor at ml.com slash bullish. Merrill, a Bank of America company. What would you like the power to do? Investing involves risk. Merrill Lynch, Pierce, Fenner & Smith, Incorporated, registered broker dealer, registered investment advisor, member SIPC, a wholly owned subsidiary of Bank of America Corp. If you're considering remodeling your home in 2023, talk with your architect or designer about utilizing Golden State Window and Door for your upcoming project. Each location across the Bay Area features beautifully planned displays. You'll be surprised by the variety of styles. Their respected partners include Anderson, Milgard, Marvin, and many other top brands. For locations, images, and more, visit GoldenStateLumber.com. Since 1954, Golden State. When you succeed, we succeed. Ladies and gentlemen, it's official. Fast just got a whole lot faster. Xfinity has the fastest internet with up to 6 gig speed. Plus, Xfinity Mobile is the fastest mobile service with 5G and millions of Wi-Fi hotspots. You heard that right. Xfinity just increased internet speeds again. And Xfinity Mobile gives you can't-catch-me speeds. The fastest internet, the fastest mobile service, and major savings? 
can't argue with the facts. Now through December 21st, new customers can get 1.2 gig internet plus XFi complete with unlimited data and Wi-Fi equipment included. It's just $50 a month for two full years with no annual contract when you add Xfinity Mobile with unlimited data at regular rates. Plus, get $200 back. Go to Xfinity.com slash faster. Call 1-800-XFINITY or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Actual speeds vary. When back to the office means back in traffic. Backing the three right lanes, multiple emergency crews on the scene. You can rely on your Northern California Honda dealers traffic center. On the shoulder now, so that's good. Traffic is getting by. From your traffic leader, KCBS. Dell Technologies Days of Deals for Business start now with fresh, limited quantity deals on tech to drive productivity. Save on select performance laptops and desktops powered by 12th Gen Intel Core processors. Don't forget special pricing on the latest monitors, docks, and accessories, plus free shipping on everything, and special financing with Dell Business Credit. Call a Dell Technologies advisor at 877-ASK-DELL. That's 877-ASK-DELL. Ray Maliazzi here for eBay Motors. So you ordered a new air filter for your car. You try to install it, but it doesn't fit. So you take a little bit off the sides. Well, still doesn't fit? Well, you could try to sit on it. Or just go to eBay Motors and get it right the first time. With over 122 million parts, they have the parts that fit your vehicle. Air filters, tires, headlights, brakes, and more. Get the right parts at the right prices. eBay Motors, let's ride. You're the one who protects the flock, and that requires an eye for detail. Because when safety and well-being are on the line, it's the details that can save lives. Even when no one else is watching, you see everything. Granger gets you, and we're here for you. And all the ones who get it done with a wide range of safety products and solutions. Plus board-certified safety consultants here to answer your questions. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. San Francisco, mostly cloudy this morning, highs in the mid-40s. Weather brought to you by Staples. Staples offers the latest tech solutions from HP, plus great savings when you bundle an HP printer, PC, and monitor. Explore more at your local Staples store or staplesconnect.com. Get fast, reliable speeds at home and on the go with internet and mobile from Xfinity. Now through December 21st, new customers can get 1.2 gig internet plus XFi complete with unlimited data and Wi-Fi equipment included. It's just $50 a month for two full years with no annual contract when you add Xfinity Mobile with unlimited data at regular rates. Plus, get $200 back. Go online, call 1-800-XFINITY or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Actual speeds vary. When I seen him throw that ball, I was like, oh, my God. Hey, it's Willard of Willard and Dibs, 9 to noon. Now let's get you back to the morning roast with Bonte and Joe, boys. B the changeover is coming. Oh, You better C be ready. We'll talk to you soon. Damn, he's talking forever. Yeah, B Shocker, R right? O-C-K. <laughs> yep, Purdy. Hey. One, three. That's my QB. When I seen him throw that ball, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Listen, leave the rapid to Duke, okay? I know. I was trying to leave, do an S-T-U-P-I-D leave, thing. Leave the rapid to Duke and leave it to Walker Britt, all right? <laughs> Mr. Britt, who dropped the dope line during Shasky's 40th birthday. Uh, by the way, Mark Willard, you kept going on the rejoin. It's kind of like him during the changeover. It's like, <laughs> wait, I thought you were passionate right there. Shot clock violation, shot clock violation. I'm a roast. I do want to do a remix for Brock Purdy because I know the songs are coming out. You know the Akon and Young Jeezy song? Yeah. Uh, Soul Survivor? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. He's the quarterback of my let, 49ers. Let, let Duke do that. Let, let Duke come off the remix. Young let, Shannon that's what the Brock roasters, Purdy. Yeah, that's what the roasters trying are Trying to make things easy. That's like asking me to name a rock band. You just you got to leave that for others. Got to leave it for others. Want a rock and roll all night? <laughs> Does anyone really have a choice? And Purdy all day. So so oh, we teased this. We teased this. By the way, where's where's my reach out here, uh, Spadoni? Oh, all right, here we go. Shout out to the text line, YouTube, Mixed Mobile text line. 
Shout out to you guys out. 9570gameshop.com. 9570gameshop.com. Shout out to everybody on YouTube. We're humming. We're at 900 at one point on YouTube. Shout out to everybody on the YouTube live stream. We love you guys. Shout out to everybody on Twitch. We love you too. Xfinity Mobile Text Line. I love you too. Even the haters. I love you guys. I love you guys. I blocked. Shaska blocked like 70 people yesterday on Twitter. I had to. Did you tell him, can you smell what the Brock is cooking? <laughs> no, I did. That's a good one. That's a good one. But <laughs> when the Brock touched down in Seattle. <laughs> well, well, you know what? <laughs> Brock Purdy will hope he's playing Thursday. He's getting an MRI today <laughs> what? on his injured oblique, according no. to Tom Pelissero. No. Purdy got hurt on the game's no. second drive Sunday. The second possession. And obviously played well after it. So not a lot of concern pending further test, uh -oh. but a quick turnaround Thursday night for Thursday night in okay. Seattle. So injured oblique. I'm not Brock Purdy, but I have hurt my oblique. It's a baseball injury. Yeah. A, you either can yeah. do it when you're swinging or yep. throwing, and it's right up in here. And I'm telling you, dude, the oblique hurts. The oblique hurts. If it's his right side, that's his throwing side, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. Happened that's not on good. the second drive. Oh, boy. The adrenaline can work out. Like, you could take some, you know, painkillers and get yeah. through it. No it doubt. will hurt even worse the next day. No doubt. Oh, boy, that's not good. Could be. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, right. Of course, Shasky talking about the old injuries. I always get a kick out of you talking about your injuries. <laughs> I mean, the older I get, the more the injuries mount up. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, shocker. Yeah. You've been injury pro for 25 years now. You know what? Your boy's in the best shape of his life, so I'm feeling good right now. <laughs> Shasky's been day to day yeah. for 25 years. I did I did leg day on Friday, uh, no, yeah, Friday, and I tried to play basketball on Saturday. I was one and done, one game and done. The plantar fasciitis was killing me. The oh legs, boy. the hammies, everything was hurting. Oh, boy. Brock Mania. Brock Mania yesterday at Levi Stadium. You had to purdy, purdy, purdy chest. Because when I saw him throw that ball, I was like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, more sound coming up here. Drake Greenlaw. Drake Greenlaw had himself a game. 15 tackles yesterday. 15 tackles and the interception on Tom Brady. Uh, I don't see it you on know, my board. Uh, oh, here it is. Here it is. I want to okay. Greg Greenlaw describing yeah. his interception. Thinking, like, stay on my feet. Stay on my feet. Because once I tipped it, I was like, all right, maybe I can catch it the first time. But I didn't, so I tipped it up. And then when I tried to catch it the second time, I was trying to get back under my feet so I can take it off and run with it. But kind of was on my ankle a little bit and just couldn't get going. But, I mean, it was Mate. it was just crazy. I got to give you credit. You love Drake Groff. Dre Greenlaw from that first preseason game against the Dallas Cowboys. I didn't know and that I could be you. this, yeah. though. I was like, I mean, Chasky, he over-pursues too much. <laughs> He's reckless. But I was like, you know what? It's his first game. I'd rather him over-pursue yeah. for trying to make a play than, you know, kind of shying away from the tackle. Yeah. Then, of course, that rookie year, Quan Alexander gets hurt. Quan Alexander, by the way, playing some good football with the New he York is. Jets. He uh, but he gets hurt. And Greenlaw comes in. He has a Monday night game against Seattle where he has a big pick at overtime. They almost win it. Chase McLaughlin kicks it into the tunnel. They're basically comparing that to Harry Kane's penalty kick from Saturday against, uh, against French. Remember Chase McLaughlin kicking yeah. that field goal in the tunnel? Yes. Um, and then Harry the Kane, worst of course, kick we've ever yeah, seen. Harry Kane kicking that penalty shot 20 rolls up <laughs> into the stands. Uh, but then Drake Greenlaw has a tackle heard around the world against Seattle on the inch line mm -hmm. to give him a division and home field advantage. And then you see the way he's playing this year, the pick against Brady, the tackles. He's Last week against Miami, that one drive, I was like, damn, Drake Greenlaw's playing some great football. He's playing at an all-pro level. I don't want to do the comparative shopping uh, when it comes to, like, whose play was better because the game's changed so much. But, like, Bowman and Willis is the right. gold standard for a lot of right. Niner fans. No, no doubt, no doubt. Do, do you think five years from now, ten years from now, fifteen years from now, the younger people are going to view Greenlaw and Warner the way you and I view, and and I'm not saying like we're they're the same players because I know Willis is in the Hall of Fame, but do you think that we're going to look at the way these guys have played the last couple of years and be like, yeah. dude, that was the golden era of linebacker play, dude? It in terms of modern football, dude, they're rising, and and the thing is, it's Bowman, crazy. Bowman was highly touted after Penn State, yes, second round pick, second round pick. Willis was a first round pick. He was a top ten pick. <laughs> yeah, you know. Fred Warner Jr. was a third-round pick, and Dre Greenlaw was a fifth-round pick out of Arkansas. And I thought linebackers don't matter. Yeah, well, it does. Yeah, it These did. guys are knocking heads off. These lot. guys are knocking heads off. Real quick, Dre Greenlaw, and what he saw from Brock Purdy before yeah, yeah. we go back out to the Give lines. It to me. To be able to see him go out there and make the plays that he did and the confidence that he's playing with as a young guy, I mean, it's only he only going to get better, you know? And he's just got to believe it and work at it every day, and he's going to see – you're going to see the change and the growth that he's that he's putting there. And then here's Purdy on his oblique injury. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how, how it goes this week. Just felt a little tight at the end just from taking some hits. But honestly, man, like if I needed to play throughout the rest of the game, I definitely would have. So going to get some treatment on it and, and be ready to roll. You remember, remember the posters, Aaron Rowan? Gamer. 
Oh, yeah. Wait till you see the Brock Purdy gamer oh, posters. Dude, They're going to be everywhere. The Brock- Purdy, Purdy, this was a, Purdy. That was an unreal moment. Here's what Purdy had to say about that moment. I think today was, yeah, that was, that was wild to hear the whole stadium saying it like that. So, um, man, we got some great fans out here, man. They, they love this team, and they're, they're right behind us all the way through. So very thankful for them. <laughs> the apology letters. Fonte, you got an apology for for Brock Purdy? We'll wait on that. Start but calling, it may be coming. Start calling you uh, Hemingway with all the yeah, letters you're writing. I mean, jeez <laughs> Louise. It's all quarterbacks. It's all the quarterbacks. Jimmy, I apologize about Jimmy gets hurt the next week. Yeah. Crying out loud. Maybe I should have saved it for Brock Purdy. Or maybe I should have saved it for Papa Shasky. This is like a, right Oh, my dad's on the line. Yeah. I was going to say, this is kind of like that Eminem video, Stan. You're writing yeah, a letter yeah, yeah, to yeah, all the, letter. the different quarterbacks as you're driving off the road in the middle of the rain. <laughs> Brock Purdy. Please. My tears Gosh. gone cold. I, I, gar- I, guarantee those pr- I guarantee you those people. Oh, that Bonte Hill. You gotta apologize to Purdy. I'm not the only one, damn it. No, all of us. <laughs> I'm not the only one. Well, the, like, 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 you know, who saw this? And these people, were like, I knew months ago. No, you, yeah, didn't. No, you didn't. I was Stop. there. Like, Stop you didn't. Lying. Don't, don't, Stop pre- like, lying. we're we're doing revisionist history. Right. He looked good at times in some of the drills. He looked bad at times in some of the drills. Like this thing that he was dominating or he was the most accurate. No, he showed some flashes. He showed some signs. Like we're all surprised. It's okay. No doubt. It's no okay. Doubt. This is surprised. why we love sports yes, to be no proven doubt. wrong. And you know what? And you know what? If he gets the Niners a great chance to win a Super Bowl, so great. I'm here for it. Yes. I don't care. I'm ready. I don't care. It's been drought long enough. I want to go to Glendale. Exactly. I want to go to Glendale. I want red paint in the end zone. I want it all. Okay, Warren G. Papa Shasky, what's happening? <laughs> what's up, Papa Shasky? Papa Shasky, you there? Hey, yeah, I'm here, guys. Well, How you guys doing this morning? What a beautiful morning. What a beautiful morning. How come you weren't out there yesterday? When are you getting out to well, Levi Stadium? I offered him well, tickets. Well, he called. Joe called me and wanted me to go, but I had a dinner party of 16 people over last <laughs> night. I cooked up a 19-pound uh, uh, prime rib. Turned out perfect, Joe. Thanks for coming by and cutting the bone off for me. I appreciate that. No, so, <laughs> well, well, hold on, hold on. One second before you get to the game. You've had yourself, you've had yourself a week. All right, 16, 16 person dinner party. Yeah. All right, last prime night. Rib. A prime full rib. prime rib. Full prime rib. I cut the we bones off, tied it back on right, for right, me. There you go. And then Thursday, you have to rear their lunch in, and I'm getting photos from everybody. <laughs> Sal Castaneda, <laughs> you, and you're standing next to Chris Mullen and Gary St. Jean. And I haven't seen Mullen yet, so I want to know how much you talked his ear off. But damn, you've had yourself a week, Papa Shasky. Well, you know, it's, it's funny. I just walk in. I pick up my, my little badge with my name on it, class of 75, right? Tells me what table I'm sitting at. And um, and right away, Sal comes over to me. Hey, Joe. And he grabs me like I'm not there 20 seconds. He grabs me and says, come on. I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to send it to your son. He takes a photo. I look at his phone. He's got Joe on speed dial. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, like, and then and then finally, I like, go over and I, and I introduce myself to uh, – to Chris, right? Because everybody's kind of bombarding him, right? But right. Chris is a really quiet guy, right? He's real quiet. He's not really outspoken a lot. So I didn't really say much. I just said, you know, that Bonte, you know, told me you were, you know, that you know, I was going to be there, and that that you were on high alert. He kind of got a little giggle out of that, yeah. and um, and and then I said, you know, would you mind if I got a photo? He goes, no problem. And then Joe gives me crap about about it. he leans down because the guy's, you know, a foot. No, out time out, him. time out. It looked it looked like Mullen was in a, a an interrogation hostage situation <laughs> because it looked like you were like, like we got to take this photo. And Mullen's like, oh god, who's this crazy man? What, what about the saintly one? Did you say what's up to the saintly hey, one? Pop? I I didn't get a chance to talk to Saint. I Hi, Saint. Man. I talked to Saint the first time. Uh, about six years ago when he first spoke. I didn't get a chance to speak to him this time. But, um, hey, so what I wanted to talk about, there's two things I was listening. I, I was sharing at an AA meeting this morning, and, and I was I wanted to get in early, but I couldn't. So um, there's a couple people are talking early about about the uh, the throw that he made to uh, CMC in the end zone. And what a catch, recovery, toe tap in the end zone. Wow. Are you kidding me? That guy is phenomenal. And then, and then the throw that, that he makes, uh, the double hitch throw that he makes to IU. Yeah, the stutter and go. Kind of underthrew him a little bit, but took it right on the chin uh, right as soon as he released that. I mean, talk about Moxie. This kid's got Moxie. And, and I'm thinking the most important part that I'm thinking is I think uh, that Kyle is opening the playbook a little yeah. bit. Yes. This yep. guy. Yes. Yep. No, Kyle's not afraid to you open know, it up. So, so it just. I love yeah, the I game plan. A lot, of, a lot of first down passing yesterday to set the tone on those possessions as well. 
Well, well there's the, some of the throws. I don't know that Jimmy can make that double pump throw. Yeah, I don't know. know. And, and for him to stay in there, stay in there. And, you know, maybe that's where he hurt his oblique because he got popped pretty good just as soon as he released that ball. And uh, and that was a great – I mean, that guy's shoes are still in New York. <laughs> left him left on a 10-yard line. So there was a couple – and then that McCaffrey run to steal it. But the, 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 the most important part somebody brought up, Karen, I think, brought up earlier about – that they needed that touchdown, twenty-one points. It yes. still didn't feel right. Yeah, I know. Brady yep. out there, right? Yep. Yeah. I mean, they needed they needed the dagger, and that was the dagger. All right, for yep. halftime. No, Ten it's... seconds on the Giants. Okay, then Clarence not going to spend any money. You guys, he's he's still living off the hundred and seven win win year. They're not going to spend any money. Yeah, you got to believe that he's not going to. That's not in his DNA. Pop They're Shasky. not going to do that. He's going to keep getting retreads. Two years, twenty-five million for Sean Mania, <laughs> and they announced the move at midnight when we're all asleep. How about that? Yeah. I, that, now, does the Sean Mania really move the needle for you? Not for me. I'm telling you. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, I saw him give I mean, up bobs in the, I mean, in the NLCS pops. You should have got. You should have got run down for for God's sake. I mean, Rodon. he's a better pitcher. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. All right, pops. I'll see you later. Hey, you guys have a great day. Hey, Joe, are we going to go get that tree today? I mean, I guess we are. <laughs> I guess we are. I'll see you later. You right, know, have a great day, fellas. He doesn't call Pat at all up. <laughs> what the hell is Deli Boy doing? Uh, hey, gonna What's get Deli this? Boy doing? Oh, dude, that guy. Don't even start me. Deli Boy, you're the oldest. You should have to do all this stuff. Uh, dude, I, I kind of my mom does the same thing to me. It's I like, mean, you got to do this, this, He that. calls me frenetic in the morning. I'm about to leave at 1030, right, to go to the Niner game. He's like, ah, you got, I got this whole prime rib roast. You got to take the bone off so then tie it back on so I can cook it with the bone so then I can just snip and serve later. Speaking of which, I want some of that prime rib. Oh. So now you got to go help him get a tree. Yeah, we'll do that later. Where's Deli Boy? Dude, he, I don't know. He's dude, dude, unclogging toilets at the airport probably right now <laughs> for the city of San Francisco. He said he found a full pair of pants that got flushed down the toilet. If you go to the airport and you flush an entire, first off, it's an impressive feat. I don't know how you even got the full set of pants down the toilet. And you flush it down, what's wrong with you? By the way. What is wrong with you? By the way. Papa Shasky with his own graphic on YouTube. Yeah. Who made that happen? I don't know, but it's a great graphic, isn't it? <laughs> it's so it's, so, it's him in a deadhead hat <laughs> it's with a giant straight. It's so good. Turning it's back, so telling you what you need to do. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. It really is. If I, was at that, if I stayed at that surprise party longer, we were going to talk amongst ourselves for two hours straight. Oh, for sure. He had you cornered. Yeah, it was all good. Yeah. I loved it. We were yeah. chopping it up. Who talks quicker, him or Porter? <laughs> Porter's slow, which is annoying because <laughs> his stories are long and they're slow. It's like, yo, 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 come on, speed it up a little bit. Sometimes I do that to Anna. She gets really mad and throws something at me and then walks away. I'm like, I do the little, come on, quicker. Let's go. There's a J.P. Money <laughs> Willard joke in there somewhere. Oh, boy. I'm going to go to Antonio in Oakland, who's probably dancing in the streets of Oakland Antonio. right now. Antonio, what's happening? Hey, what's up, man? Who this defense we got? You know, we just destroyed the books, man. That They're about... I think this is probably the best defense since the 2002 Bucks. You know, when John Lynch was on that yep. defense, man, we're just riding high, and we don't be fearing nobody because we got all the talent in the world. And when Debo got injured, man, I was at the freaking stadium. I had to shed a tear. I'm like, oh, no, this can't be our season. But I think he'll probably be back by the playoffs. But, uh, man, you know, uh, we got the next Willis and Bowman. Those two linebackers, Warner and Greenlaw, man, they just, uh, they just mopping everything up out there. They're, they're so rangy. They cover up so much space. You know, it's like having, like, two Andre Eagle dollars in, in, in their prime, you know, just playing defense, covering ground their length and all that. I'm, I'm loving it, though, y'all. So, Ice Cube, you know how we do it. <laughs> Antonio Put Oakland. your back here's, into it. Here's the first play of the game because he got rocked Dude, by Purdy. It scared me. My he heart got stopped. Rocked, and they threw a flag. I was like, oh, my God, that's a gift. Now, yeah, a lot yeah, of people. Big gift. We say helmet to helmet, whatever. I just thought it was a good football play. Here's what Purdy had to say about that first hit. Yeah, it was a. Uh... It was a hard hit. I, I was in the wrong play, actually, so that was on me. But honestly, it felt good to sort of just get hit and uh, just feel like I was in the game, and I was like, okay. So um, sort of turned out to be a good thing. It turned out to be a good thing. What about the support from his family? I saw them right after the game and, and just, you know, the emotions on their face and um, just the way they looked down at me from up on the railing. Man, it just means a lot because just throughout my whole life, the, the ups and downs of playing a quarter, playing quarterback in general, you know, high school and college, they're the people at home that just believe in you and they always see the best in you. And so they believed in me even though I was the last draft pick and all that kind of stuff. Like they were, 
they've always been telling me like you're good enough and, and we know that you can do it and so to see them after that performance meant a lot to me and so very blessed to have them as my family that's what, awesome what does shanahan think that it was awesome the shots really his dad cool. crying that it's was really cruel cool. the human element yeah that was really I, look cool. look i know i've said what i've said about purdy in the preseason i didn't believe he could be ready i didn't believe he could do it i really did i was wrong i've been wrong before and i think josh allen would be a great but, but, quarterback but Ponte, Ponte, i didn't believe justin herbert would be to, a great to be quarterback. fair to be fair like and even the greatest coach of all time uh, Bill Belichick, he didn't know Brady would be Brady, right? Right, like until it ends up happening, right? Yeah, but no doubt. If the Niners really were like uh, ahead of the curve on everyone on this, they would have never brought Jimmy back. They would have went right to Brock Purdy, right? right? Like right. I'm just, and I'm not trying to like they get credit for keeping they him on the credit. roster. I'm not, I'm not here to like rip them. I'm just saying like this is an unbelievable story, no doubt. It's okay to say it. Sometimes we just don't know. We do. I mean Sudfield. That's why I love sports. Sudfield got cut. I mean, wow. Sudfield actually looked okay in camp. Right. Okay, not great, not bad, but okay. So, so Purdy balls out, and then you see the family element. I was like, damn, that's pretty cool. His it's dad really cool. crying, his mom's there, his family members. I said, you know what? Good for Brock Purdy, man. And to see that stadium, it was rocking when they were chanting <laughs> I Purdy. Believe and it. I said, and like when he threw that ball, like and if the avalanche came too, yes. it was like an avalanche. Yes. Then the next possession, they go ninety-one yards after they stuffed the Bucks on first to go. They had second and one at the Niners, an eight-yard line. The defense stuffs them, keeps them out of the end zone. The Niners go ninety-one yards and it hits. Are you the stutter and go? And I said, oh, okay. Well, all right. Be, it's that's why I'm like, like, if they were winning, like let's just say seventeen to thirteen, like ah, you know, he's doing just enough to win and whatever, like. They're putting up 30 points a game with them. That's two games. Let's see what happens over a month or two months or or whatever. But, like, they're scoring touchdowns. They look explosive offensively. They had to take when the When I seen him throw that ball, I was like, oh, my God. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know what to say. Like, at some point, you just got to give the, the young man credit and be like, you, you I, I'm in. Like, let's do it. Let's see where this goes. You do. You let's do. just see where it goes. Let's see where it goes. Shanahan, what did he think? Because, you know, Shanahan is everybody's toughest critic. What did Shanahan have to say about Brock Purdy? He's played a lot of football in college, and he just got to play his first NFL game last week, and then he did the same stuff today. I mean, he's he reacts and runs around and makes some plays, and that's how he was in college, and that's how he's been so far and in the league. And when you do that, it's how many good plays can you make without making the bad ones, and he's done that really well so far. You know, B, I'm guilty of this. We do this thing like coach worship, you know what I'm saying, right. all the time, right? Like Bill Walsh for someone, as someone like, right. I, I hold him in like the highest yeah, regard. the highest of highs. You know how many mistakes Bill Walsh made? If he knew Montana was going to be Montana, he didn't have a first round pick in 79. You think you think he's waiting until the third round to go get Montana? No, no doubt. All right, he's, he's taking hell. him. He's taking him as, as fast as he possibly Montana can. Montana won a Super Bowl, their second Super Bowl, and he's still trying to trade it from John Elway. It, that's my point. So sometimes you back into things, and it works. It would be so ironic. Now I don't know what the I don't know what the Disney story is going to showcase at the end. He could flame out at any moment. Who knows? Maybe it's sustainable. Maybe it's not. But the irony of moving heaven and earth to find Jimmy Garoppolo's replacement. And then you find it with with Mr. Irrelevant. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We don't know yet. I mean, the we irony of trying to get rid of Jimmy only to have him save your season. I know. The I irony know. Of, of 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 putting all your eggs I in know. the tray basket and then he gets hurt. Week two. And then the Jimmy, the guy you've been trying to get rid of, comes in and saves the day and holds the fort down. And now it's Brock Purdy. It's just it's sports is wild. Sports is wild. We didn't know Steph Curry would be this player. Exactly. We didn't know Steph would be this good. We didn't know Draymond would end up being a four-time champ. No clue. Didn't. We had no clue. Did anybody know that Tim Lincecum was going to be a back-to-back no. Cy Young guy? No, he wouldn't have went. He was the Golden Spikes Award winner and went yep. 10th overall, for example. Yep. All right. Steph Curry was drafted as the third point guard in his own draft. Right. Fourth, really. Tyreek Evans. I didn't even consider him right. a point guard, but you're right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're right. He was he was 25 and 4 his rookie year. It's it's so like that. My and, and even then, even then, he looked good. He showed promises. They said to the Bucs. You can have Monte or you can have Steph. Right. Your choice. And the Bucks took Monte. Sometimes the sports stuff just works out. You need I, luck. I, I don't you need know. Luck. I you don't need know. A little bit of here luck. we are. Drew down maybe with the comments of the day. On Give it YouTube. to me. LeBron James was on the Brock train long ago. <laughs> I saw this 15 <laughs> uh, years ago. Oh, Brock Purdy? Oh, I saw a light up Texas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brock Purdy should have been the number one overall pick. It's LeBron James right now. Uh, hey, quietly, though. <laughs> the Lakers. Lakers. Are looking good. Gutsy win against oh, the Detroit God. Pistons. Gutsy. Oh, it's good to have you back, God. Joe Spinoni. You're alive. It's good to have you back. I'm glad one of your teams is I never get off the bandwagon. I, well, listen, I'm glad one of these guys behind the glass are happy because I haven't heard from Lubbock all morning long. <laughs> it's a chai-sai shop and I love it. Hey, good morning. Hey, hey. 
What's the what's there to say? You know, I'm not trying to ruin the good vibes today. <laughs> I mean, the Giants. Things are feeling pretty good today, so you know, no reason to ruin that. That's, yeah. that's a three. Listen, <laughs> the Giants, the biggest loser this all season. How you go around parading around town talking about we got all the money in the world, we're gonna spin, 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 and you end up with Mitch. They're caught between. Shamanaya. They're caught between a Brock and a hard place. <laughs> That was a five. That was pretty good. Take it up with I'm done for the day. And try to sneak the news through at midnight. We're all asleep. Oh Their my biggest God. acquisition might be this double A catcher that they got. Oh, my God. What a joke. Uh, well, you know what? Here's what here's you know what? what? I'm uh, here for the cheap tickets. Yeah. What? I'm here for the free tickets. Uh, shed ahead on whether or not he and thought about. <laughs> time out. Even if I gave you some free tickets, you're going to be passing them down at some. You're not even going to go. Uh, let's. Uh, Let's let's hear from Shanahan on if he thought about the Super Bowl when they had a twenty eight to three lead. Any any time that you're up a lot, you go back to any scars that you have. And so I do the math a lot. I know he came back on us when we were up twenty five going into the fourth, but I definitely didn't feel good with Brady. I mean, I saw him do it to the Rams last year too. So you always gotta be careful with him. You always gotta be careful. Always be careful. If the Niners win thirty five to seven. Brock Purdy Mania is real. Thursday night football is a t-shirt and hat game. T-shirt and hat game Thursday night in Seattle, which means they can clinch the division and pop champagne on Thursday in Seattle with Brock Purdy at quarterback. Bonte. Are you kidding me? Bonte, I remember when the schedule came out and you and I were going through the schedule and in our minds, it's like, it, it could be Jimmy or Trey. This is like months before the season about to start. It could be Jimmy or Trey against Tom Brady in Tampa Bay in December. Oh my God. Where will the Niners be? Where will the Rams be? Where will this? Be? And you look up, nothing is what we thought it was. No, no. Nothing. Dude, the last two nothing years. Nothing is what we thought. The Seahawks, I thought, were dead. Listen. We go to every Niners game. We watch every Niners game. Over two and we, three times. We've been along for the entire Jimmy Garoppolo cycle, cycle in 2017. Yes, I felt every emotion. We've been so damn wrong about this organization and team the last two years. We've had I've had people from the 49ers say, you guys hate Shanahan. You guys hate Garoppolo. Literally from the organization. You guys hate this and you hate that. No, we don't. We just want a Super Bowl. But damn it, I did not know in December of 2022 with the Buccaneers coming to town off of Brady's one of his greatest comebacks in the regular season, 16-3 yeah. in the last three minutes against the Saints. I know, with Aaron Judge on the sideline. With Aaron Judge on the sideline. And you got Brady coming to town. And you got Brock Purdy making his first start for the 49ers. And the crowd by halftime is chanting Purdy. Purdy with Brady in the house. Multiple times. I can't believe it. I know. I can't believe it. I know. I can't and believe what's going on. on. Debo on a cart, and it didn't even matter. Because you got Chris McCaffrey. It's just, well, that's the, another thing. Whole, I didn't know Chris McCaffrey would be a 49er. I, don't, <laughs> I, I did not have that on my bingo card. I did not. What's going on, man? I did not. But I'm here for it. Let's get weird, folks. I said let's get weird. Let's get weird. Let's flex.